Oh shoot, here we go again. Okay, here we go, we're back. So far so good, I mean look at... OBS shows this running super fast, but I am on a menu right now. Let's see what happens when I close it. Yeah, no, this is running great right now. But when, I don't know if it's just because I'm in this cave area. That dude's got his dukes up, he's ready to fight. Um, so yeah, so far this is running way better than it has before. I don't know if it's just a coincidence. Uh, let's hope that that, that keeps going like that. Um, I'm sure I could even increase the graphics a little bit, but let's, I'm not going to attempt fate, I'm just going to leave it how it is. Um, so for those of you who missed what just happened, we, we have been tasked with finding these four plaques and we got the, the Egyptian plaque. And then we just got the mystery plaque, which ended up being a Sumerian. And in order to get the Sumerian plaque, we had to jump down into this uh, Nurgle, the fierce one. Osiris, Lord of Silence. So they're all like different, like names for the same, like the for more or less the same god of the dead. Wait until I'm back in the main city, yeah. Um, so, we just have two more plaques we have to find and then supposedly we'll be able to gain an audience with Hades or Pluto or Osiris or Nurgle or whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, we came down through that hole. But anyway, so now we, uh, we need to get out of here, I assume. Um, yeah. Walk over there. Oh, look at that green water. What the heck? It's like jello water. Barricades. And I wrote a set of barricades. Looks like these Sumerians were trying to defend themselves from something. So yeah, it's like there's all, there was these more and more layers as you go deeper like outside it was all romanized and we had seen remnants of greek there was like one little greek building of worship left but they were kind of mostly got romanized and then when we went under the greek area it led into uh the egyptian underworld which also, another twist, can I not go in this green water? Maybe I could freeze it with my arrow. I cannot. Okay, I don't know what this green stuff is, but apparently we can't go into it. Um, so then we got to like an Egyptian underworld, and then we went even deeper to this uh, Sumerian which I probably know the least about out of all of these like historic, like old, um, like religious systems. What do you call like a, I guess mythology, right? That's that's the more proper name for like the, like the older religions. Um, yeah, I don't know much about Sumerian other than I think it's like the oldest recorded uh, like civilization, right? Something like that. Mythology, beliefs, religious practices, pantheon, yeah. Whoa. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? I guess I was looking the wrong way. Corroded brass plate with Sumerian markings on it. It appears to be a pressure plate for some kind of trap. Oh, did I step on that? I didn't realize. I guess I'm hurt now. Where? What is going on over there? It's like water coming out of a wall. Okay. I'm hurt now. 
It's not the oldest civilization we know of, it's where some of the oldest records slash writings come from. Okay. Yeah, that's what I meant, the oldest, like, recorded civilization. <gasps> the Epic of Gilgamesh is still the oldest story we know of. Okay, so that's clearly another trap. And maybe we want to trigger it just for fun, you know? Like, why not? Guessing the boulder will come this way. Here, let's see what happens. There it goes. <laughs> Freaking giant boulder, Indiana Jones. We know things are running well when a freaking giant boulder is coming around and we're still going at a good frame rate. Oh. What the heck? When I told you that you would not find a way back up, that was not a prediction. That was a promise. You will die here. Why would you come down here? There's no need for this to end in violence. I disagree. I warned you against coming down here, against perpetuating this sacrilege, but you persisted. You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Uh, oh hey Sean. Well, it's actually the oldest civilization if you mean urbanized uh, and agricultural societies. Hmm. Just hear me out. Very well, I will listen. But if I sense deception, or if you further insult my gods, I will carry out my threat. So tell me, why should I let you live after you salvaged this instrument of blasphemy? If something can be destroyed by the truth, it deserves to be destroyed by the truth. There's no shame in building on the works of people who came before you. I don't think he's going to accept that. I'm just trying to replace all the plastic from the desecrated obelisk. Um, the first one seems like maybe he would agree with that. Then you admit it. You wish to destroy the sacred beliefs of my people. I okay, I think I misunderstood what I was telling him. Many of my I thought I was telling him that if this plaque is untrue, then it will be revealed by so itself. We may descend to the Duat in death and be judged accordingly. We prepare to have our hearts weighed on Anubis' scales and to swear ourselves innocent of sin before the 42 assessors of Ma'at. And yet, I arrive here to find the Book of the Dead contained only a seed of truth. And now, I ask myself, did our priests steal and embellish the stories of an older people and feed us lies all our lives simply to trick us into obedience? But you can blame your priest for that, not me. Well, I don't think he believes that's true. Isn't being a good person a worthwhile pursuit in and of itself? I don't know what where this guy's beliefs lie honestly I don't, I, the first one seems taunting so i'll go with the second one i guess try to reason with him i am not sure i follow speak plainly even if your beliefs about the afterlife weren't quite accurate isn't the important thing they motivate you to live good lives if you were only good in life because you expected a reward were you really a good person The first one is kind of making a statement, whereas the second one feels a little bit more like an actual question. Now you insult me all right, and well, all of my ancestors. I don't know. You have want. sealed your own fate. Wait, if you attack me, I'll break the golden rule. <laughs> Good. I welcome it. You see, the philosopher told me that. Well, wouldn't we be safe down here? Because. The the Greek cave philosopher was safe this whole time. We're even deeper than he is. One more tremor will lay waste to this fragile place once and for all, and you along with it. 
Why do you hate me so much? What? Oh man, I failed. I actually literally don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. Can I get out of here? Yeah, I don't know what he wanted from me because I have no idea what his specific mindset was like that he... I was trying to... Reason with him, but I don't know. I have no idea where I'm going right now. That's not a ladder, that's a grating. But the thing is, there are no... None of those angels down here. He doesn't want me to lie to him or insult his beliefs. I mean, I was trying not to, because the other one was like... Oh. Isn't it a good thing that you... Even if your your beliefs were fake, that you at least did good? And then the other one said... Are you actually a good person... Uh, even if, if you just did one just for a reward. Like, that's just an actual question, in my opinion. Like, I don't- it doesn't seem like we're implying we know the answer to that. The first one seems more like a direct assumption. I mean, I literally don't- oh, hang on, that's where we went into the hole, isn't it? Like, I don't think it was very clear which one would have been less offensive for him. Hey, Sleepy. Uh, up seems like a good idea, right? Man, but now I'm just here again. I don't know where to go. In here, maybe? No, I came up from here. You didn't know you could fail that, co that conversation? I mean, I don't know what I did wrong. I was trying to like prompt a reasonable conversation with the guy. Okay, this might be the right way. The second option paints his belief system as wrong. How, how does the first one not paint it as wrong? Because the first one says, if your beliefs weren't accurate, that immediately is saying what you believe in is wrong. Like that's directly saying that what he believed in was inaccurate and not the the real what it was. It's, it's specifically implying that he did, his priests did take from another one. Whereas the second one is just a general question, like... Oh, okay. Your thing could... Maybe your thing is right, but also, um, do you think just, like... Do you think it's a good thing, morality-wise, to do something just because of the belief you'll get a reward? Is this a door? I have no idea where I'm supposed to go right now. In his belief system, you do something good, expect to wrote in the afterlife. Uh, yeah, but that's like most, well, that's like 99.9% .9 of belief system. So that's, that's like the least offensive thing I could have possibly said. Do I go down here? I do go down here. Oh. That's just him. So I went, I went backwards again, I guess. I still don't see why that would be insulting, but me straight up saying that he's wrong isn't insulting. This way, maybe? Like, to me, they're both, like, equal. Like, it all depends on how he decides to take it, and I'm, I'm not a mind reader. I don't know how he's going to react. Here we go. Okay, so now we have to load the outside area, so this is going to be the real test to see how well this this is running. 
It's weird that the golden roll was broken before he even did anything to me. Yeah, even if your beliefs weren't quite accurate, which sounds like you're trying to put lightly that your beliefs are wrong. Whereas the second one doesn't say his beliefs are wrong at all. Which seemed like him, that was the main thing he was upset about, because when we first met him, the whole reason he even threw the plaque down into that hole is because he was upset by the fact that someone would even insinuate or there would be any evidence that his beliefs were wrong or, or fabricated. It's agreeing with his remark about only pages about the Book of the Dead being found here. I don't know, I don't know what you mean by that. John said, I think the dialogue's confusing because without tone you can't tell if it's belittling or a genuine question. N yeah. Okay, now we can see that the game's actually running bad once we get out of the caves, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Maybe it'll get better once uh, it loads in more of this outside area. Can we... I hope the rest of the game just takes place in the caves and then we won't have to deal with the lagging. But it's, is this glitched by the way? Like none of the... None of the statues are attacking anybody as far as I can tell. Like I would have been dead. Can't see. It's not letting me take my flashlight out for whatever reason. Okay, I'll just... I think it assumes once you're in this mode that you only want to use your bow. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, my, my thing is he, it, they emphasize so heavily that Kabash didn't like the idea of being wrong that I didn't want to go with a, a, a response that would suggest in any way he could be wrong. That seemed to me to be the bad choice just based on what I knew of him already. Okay, uh... Alright, so we need to get the Roman plaque and the Greek plaque, so I guess... One of the cult. So we need to talk to Rufius about this one. And then, uh, let's just get Galileo to do. What the heck? There was like three markers. Did you see that? Salve, friend. Oh. I'll just have him do all of this just in case. Oh, look at that. Give him this purse of 2,000 denarii. Uh, oh, poor guy. See, so I think we need to make more money each time, unless we just magically have two thousand denarii. But how did you? Yeah, All right, you, of course. Yeah, we need to have. We need to get that money. I'll go. Each time, or else we're not going to be able to uh, prevent that. All right, look at there's three markers here. That's interesting. So Rufius is over there. Let's try to get a little bit of a uh, shortcut. Oh, why is he busy? I swear, every time I need to speak to someone specifically, it says they're busy. And and I don't even know what he's busy doing, he's just walking. Is he still busy? A very busy man, that Rufius. Sitting there grumbling. See, I don't know if I could do the other one because it wants me to like break into a place, but I don't know how to... Wait a minute, did we do that already? Yeah, because Dooley has one of the plaques, right? Didn't we already confirm that? Okay, I don't know. I'll try to do the Greek one again because... 
Wait, but didn't we ask Georgius and that led us down to the Egyptian and the Mist and the Sumerian plaques? So I feel like I feel like this would just lead us back to that route. So I think we need to do the Roman plaque right now. I mean, otherwise we need to figure out how to get into the upper cistern, which I don't know. I have no idea what how I'm supposed to do that. I mean, I guess I could try to do that again. I don't know. We've at least found. Don't believe a word they tell you. Uh, Not who? Really time, friend. Everyone's busy. Um. Yeah, so Dooley must have the Greek plaque, I assume. Do Dooley want to give me the key? I tried to convince him he wouldn't. He doesn't. Dooley said he'll give me the plaque if I, uh... If I can get him out. Is it not up here? I could have sworn it was up here. Maybe it was this way. The thing is, I don't even know what in the cistern is. Well, we, we need to find the, 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 the key in the cistern, don't we? And that's what, how we're supposed to get him out. Taking care of yourself. So I found out that this was apparently this. I don't know. I don't even know what a cistern is still to this day. I have something to do with running water, but there's no running water here. But anyways, apparently this is the entrance to the cistern. Um, but I don't see how how I could get in here. Oh, Dooley has the key to the cistern. Oh, that's right. I need to get him out of prison. Oh, I got mixed up because when he said he would give me the plaque, I think I forgot that the key was the other thing he was going to get you if you got him out. Um... How can we pass this test if we don't know the rules? So this is the cistern, right? Yeah, I have no idea how we would... I don't- I have no idea what the creative way is we would get in here. I mean, it seems like it's blocked off from all sides. There's no way to get in above. And then the one, like, area around the side is... we don't have the key. No, that's the great temple. I mean, I guess I don't know what I'm doing then. Salve, welcome to life under the... That's good, in a sense. If you're not on edge, well, we've all... I used... I still... You're a Christian? Please, please keep that to yourself. I know there was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. Secret safe with me. Oh, maybe I could ask her instead of Rufius. Even if I had seen it, and I'm not saying I have, I couldn't. In I don't want to threaten her. That's mean. Even if I had seen it, and. Damn it. There was a Oh, thank you. Okay, now are you gonna let me? Even if I had seen it, and I...
I mean, I don't know if a cistern is a great temple. I still don't know what a cistern is. Oh. That probably would help if I knew what that was. <laughs> like, if I was to just see an image of this, am I supposed to know that means cistern? Like, I have no idea. But yeah, this also just seems completely closed off. How would I know that this building is holding water, though? Because there's no water near it. Because I remember you kept saying, like, oh, let's try to find where water's running from, but there was actually no water coming to or from this place. Uh, hey, Sword, it's like the Ancient Cistern and Skyward Sword. I, um, I still have to play that. It's not like you shoot the plants, is it? I don't think I'd be able to climb up that anyway. It doesn't really lead anywhere. <sighs> Alright, well I guess hopefully Rufius is ready to talk because... Like I said, there's- I have no idea how I'm supposed to get in there. Okay, where is that guy? Is that Rufius? That is Rufius. Running a little bit better than last time, yeah. Oh, there you go. Not bad at all. There we go. Any idea where to find a Roman plaque? No idea what you're talking about. Come on, I helped treat your rheumatism. What? That was Galerius, not you. Where do you think he got the willow bark? Oh, he got that from you. I think I have seen that plaque. Sorry, I lied. Can't be too careful these days. Head into the caves behind the theater. Then right, 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 then right again. Right again. Oh, and here. You there we go. Cave. Now we're cooking. You didn't get that from me. Got it. Thanks. Like a will see is always one of the things. All right, cool. Now I assume that next. No, let's. Mal. Maliolus. Um, I don't remember where the theater is, but I know what it looks like, so when I see it, I should be able to hopefully just get right to it. I mean, there's water right there, but I don't know. That's... Okay, but now that's leading me. Okay. Wouldn't the aqueduct flow into the cistern to fill it with water? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Surprised we didn't have the option to tell Galliolus that the priestess likes him. I think this has got to be near the theater. Because I'm cooler. I'm the coolest. Wait, who's hot? What, what place is this that I don't have a key to? Because I have a key to the, the one dude running for mayor. I guess that's not his place then. Let's talk to her actually, real quick, because the voice kept saying to talk to her for whatever reason. Nice questions about escaping the underworld. Uh, Olivia was right. We're in the underworld. Oh my. Let's see. It 
We don't have much Hercules. Oh, she's just gonna tell us about what we are, what she already told us before. Okay. So that's just to remind us. Why does he keep saying that? I do have the key to Maliolis' house. It sounded like it was locked. Like, I, I kept hitting the button to open the door and it wasn't letting me. Does anyone remember where the theater is? I, uh, I know what it looks like, but I don't know where it is. Honestly, I don't ever know where anything is in this game. Yeah, that's the bath house. That's the thing that falls apart. It's where the election is held. I don't know where the election is held. I haven't gotten that far into the game yet. Welcome. Oh, it is near the... Okay, so that's the collapsing shrine. I'm not making you a bow. But why? You know why. So how am I going to defend myself? Okay, so this way, maybe? There are no other weapons in the city. Aha, here it is. Uh, it wants me to go in here. No, behind. It said behind. There should be like a secret door somewhere. Wait, when they said behind, I assume they mean like behind, behind, not like past it. Yeah. Citizen. A golden bow, just like Apollo and Diana. Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. <sighs> okay, so this is the theater. Maybe they mean this behind. Now oh, he said turn right and then right again. And we would, you know what? I think I actually ran into this door before. I think I came in here like way early on in the game. Oh, look at that, I could climb that. I guess I didn't then, because I wouldn't have had this bow to climb this. But maybe that's the door? Fish. That fish symbol. Oh, that's it! Holy crap! It's just here! <laughs> I was like, I wonder what this says. I thought it was just like some little extra thing. Yeah, that's what I thought, like a Jesus fish, right? Which I guess makes sense if it's the, uh, the Roman, in the Roman area. Cool, so... All right, so all we need now is the plaque from uh, Dooley. And the only way we could get Dooley out is to get Galileo elected, but I don't know if I'm able to do that. Although a lot of, oh, we just, we just made it so Galileo helped a bunch of people, right? So maybe now he could win the election. I don't know if we did enough people though. Can we, I wonder if there's a way to get uh, the scammer to vote for him. Nah, he, he, no matter what we did for him, I doubt he would agree to vote for... We're a bit early for Galileo, yeah. I mean, that's the only way I can think to get... 
That's the only way I can think to get him elected. He, this guy wants something, but I, I never so found. Who cares? <laughs> so you've got a pride lamp. <laughs> that means you are impressed, dummy, because you pointed it out. Hey, dummy. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without. So you're Quint. So I don't have enough evidence to. Uh... I... That's. I. Tr uh, okay, well, yeah, the only thing I think of is, um... So how do we do the election? Do I need to, like, do, like, trigger something? Make sure galleries. Oh, we need to actually tell. Oh, that that makes sense. Where is that guy at? Hopefully that'll lead us to him. No, it doesn't. See, the problem is sometimes when you pick, like I don't know where someone is, so I'm like, okay, I'm activating this quest so it can lead me to him, and it doesn't. I feel like, I don't know why, because sometimes it does, like when you have a certain quest active, it'll say, oh, here's the, here is the important person for this quest. But now I have no idea where she will guide you. So hit X and then the wind tells you, right? I was gonna say, it's all up to you. It's all up to you, yeah. That's when they decide not to. On his farm. The farm is near the start where you where you enter into this place, right? Oh there it is. Sorry again, Fred. How is it possible that you've just arrived here? I'm busy right now. Uh, you'd never believe me if I told you. Wait, so if you lie, does that create the golden rule? Oh, come on. I just did as you asked. The least you can do is level with me. I'm reliving the same over uh, and over again. You're a bit like Sisyphus. I already know who that is. Sisyphus was a... Tant oh. At least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. You can go on. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to. So, you're a good man. Oh, that's kind of now. I'm going to keep your secret. Although it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk, anyway, right? <laughs> oh, and if our conversations. I saw you slide down that rope before, and oh, of course, it's because. Anyway, I'm. Already delivered a fire to Equid on your behalf. What? How did you know? Oh, I okay. I'm glad we can just kind of. I would. No. Uh, don't worry. I don't need anything. Thank you, friend. In the rock tunnel, if you can. Uh, what do you th think about running for magistrate? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting duly set free. God knows. What a real one. He he's trying to run for mayor but just so he could set his friend Mario free. As the election stitched up. And maybe that's not such a bad. He's gonna break the golden rule and kill us all. And how could you? Oh, wait. Well, in that case, we need to find a way to make sure Malia. If you can do that, and Sentius is the only candidate left. Damn it! So I still need to make him drop out. But I don't have enough evidence. I almost have enough. Because I'm like, oh, I know you're that dude. You're the criminal. But I, I have no idea how to... Uh, where I'm supposed to go from here.
Let's see, if I turn this on, does it does it direct me anywhere? like Madeira over a cauldron. You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm not being too forward. You're not like... I see. You prefer the company of men. <sighs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't f Let's just forget that ever happened. Ugh, let- You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drop of light, and the tree you grasp eludes you. Sorry, I was muted. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why. Um, I legitimately don't know why. Why would I have muted it? But anyways, what I was going to say is... Yeah, you say that, yet you're not telling me where to go. Um, every time I go to that bar area, I get like stuck in a maze trying to get back out to the main city. Uh, but also, I was like, I don't remember there ever being someone in Maliolus' house aside from Maliolus. But, uh, I'll check anyways. Your brain thought Oriella looked like Claudia Black. Did I just go in a circle? Wait, she's his wife? Maliolus has a wife? Even back then, it didn't look good to run for office as a single person. Isn't that kind of weird? Like, there's like weird things about, at least like in the US political system, it's like, oh, you should have a wife, you should have kids. Like, why does that matter? You can't have a beard. They, they, we haven't had a president with facial hair since like, Gosh, since when? Let's see, Abraham Lincoln had facial hair. Eddie Roosevelt had facial hair. I can't remember, it's gotta have been at least a hundred years since the last time we had a president with facial hair. Where, where am I going? I got all distracted thinking about presidential mustaches. Oh, the guy doing the push-ups is right in front of his house, huh? Biden has facial hair, it's just very fine. I don't think peach fuzz counts. I don't think I've ever been up here, so if she's up here, it's because I've never been up here somehow. I've literally... 
As many times as I've been in his house. Stranger sobbing. Oh, I can't go in. Oh, wait, I can. Wow, wow, You're I never met. See, she's stranger. So when you said, oh, go talk to Claudia, I had no idea who you were talking about because <laughs> I'd never met her before. Um, can we talk? Talk? What business could you possibly... Why were you locked in this room? My marital affairs are no concern. Oh, so you yours, admit your husband did it. Very much. Would you like some help getting back at Maliolis? Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Okay, she does not like him. I don't think Malice is who he says he mm. is. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? Just a hunch. I was hoping we could figure his true identity together. You know, I'm it's not just a hunch, the though. Thing you're looking for. <laughs> Malice walks in. What's dead, going on in here? He wrote me a love letter. Used the wrong name. Oh, that's all we now, need. Where is it? Addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go eventually, and yet questions have linked. But wait a minute. I want it. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna belittle her. We're, we're trying to get him to withdraw from the election. To withdraw? Listen, I may not be Penelope to his Ulysses, but to ruin his. I keep life thinking he's to walking into the room. You must think me quite mad. I've heard enough. Get out of here. Don't Seriously? Come quickly. Are you serious? So I had to lie to her? Do I need to call Domitius? Wow, I try to respect you by telling you the truth and not trying to just... Alright, I see how it is. So I need... What do I need to do? I need to re-loop? Or, or can I, like, find the letter? Yeah, because it wouldn't make sense if she's just holding it on her at all times, right? I just don't know where I would find it. Suicide now. Julia to her captors, Mal Mal Maliolis and Claudia, curse you to the depths. By the time you see this, I'll already be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opus to his lost love, may God watch over you. Yar yar daze. Gotta, God damn it. I got a freaking loop just because I tried to be respectful. That's kind of annoying. You know, screw it then. I'll just steal this. The many yeah, run, dummy. Yeah. Maybe you should have freaking helped me out. Now look what you gotta deal with. He's just standing there with his arms folded. <laughs> I'm going the right way. Jinx it, but I did. This has been running a lot better than it was before, at least than than yesterday, anyways. Well, for you guys, maybe not so much. Unfortunately.
It seems marginally better. See, I needed the money because we're going to have to give him the money to save Ulpus every single time. Oh. Yulia. All right. I'll go. Can't believe I have to actually wait for him to go to each person. It should just, like, do, like, a screen wipe and he's gone and then they're all taken care of already. Um... Alright, so... I need to go back and lie to her and... Pander and belittle turns. her. The tank on the back of the toilet is a cistern. It's funny that I never went up here this whole time. You really, you know. You know Maliolus' wife? Maliolus' wife? I'm not supposed to. My bad. Talk. Your story. I think a better question is I have quite enough marriage trouble already, but. I hate to see such a beautiful woman treated so poorly. Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would see you with impotent rage. Impotent rage. You say that. I love it. It seems our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing. I, I swear, fact, I don't remember ever going upstairs in this place. Manage him appropriately. And. Because any every other situation, I don't know. What do you want? I want you to bring me some wine. I've had that wine since like the start of the playthrough, so yeah. Let me tell you something about Malia. After all I've done for him, counseling tonight. At I am okay, okay, I have your wine. So. Thank you. I've had that, that wine for so letter. long. I think I picked it up like a few times, maybe even. Went to sis to beloved Claudia. Dude, this is it. I will become the city's magistrate, you dummy. In your love letter, you're just bragging about how you're gonna be mayor. Well, he's done now, for. Perhaps you can tell me who Quinctius really is. According to this bounty letter from Emperor Nero, he's the person who started the fires in Rome. Oh, that's what he did? What? Holy crap. He's... Oh no. That's... Um... Quite a lot more serious than I imagined. I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Give well, me that too immediately. Late. Nobody else must know. I could get another copy. That doesn't make... Oh, like, the copy? Because I literally can just go grab another copy. I thought they meant of the love letter. Uh, no, I'll hang on to it. What? No. You... You tricked me. You That's not tricking. I didn't lie to you. It was a lie of a mission. You were planning this all along and you delib... I'll be going now. I curse you. I curse your life and mind and memory. May you be unable Jeez. to. This is outrageous. What are you so upset about? You're the one who got locked in a freaking closet. Now the thing is, do I confront him? Oh right, because we need to get him to drop out. So yeah, I guess we have to. It's this just his name now. Anyone in here without a hefty tribute. 
So you're you're a quink quinctius? Is that how you say it? Destroying people is funny. My name is you and I like. I can't prove it yet. I have the letter. What what did I do wrong? Unlock. What more do I, I need? Oh, oh, do I tell him to? I he has to withdraw. So it's because it's like darkened out. It makes me think like I didn't think about choosing that. Are you insane? Why would I withdraw? Okay, here we go. I know you're you're Quinctius. Your wife gave me your love letter, and Nero wants you dead. I. Okay, I got worried there for a second. So I was like, what did I miss? It finally caught up with me. I suppose that makes you. What? One of Nero's assassins? No, <laughs> the Emperor sends his regards. No, I'm not, fortunately for you. So, you're not going to kill me? Not if you withdraw from the election immediately and release everyone in debt bondage to you. Oh, so much work and money. Oh, well, if I do it. <sighs> I guess I'll do that and live. Fine. Ruling this cesspit of a city would have been beneath me anyway. I'll let Domitius notify uh -huh. the priestess of my withdrawal and release those two from debt bondage. Well, they already pay, got it paid uh, off. Wanted. Now, please, leave my villa and never... Sp so I guess that was kind of redundant. But okay, now we can get Galileo to run for president. Right, so that's how we can make them free without... Wait, wait, so does that mean we could just send Galileo to go tell Maliolus? By the way, go go uh, tell him he needs to drop out because he's... We have this evidence. Um... Are you under duress? You will not tolerate this Gal Galerius? I, cause I can never remember how to say his name. This is a problem. Where's that guy at? Oh, right in there. No, I know he's on his farm, but I'm trying to remember where the farm is. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's the dead end. I figure it's towards the shrine you start from, but I also don't know where that is. <laughs> I don't know where anything is. Keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? I know you go up. That's quite an impressive bow. I'll just keep going up until we citizen. Be careful who you trust. This way, I think. We can start putting those things back on. We just need the one more.
Maybe if I take this down. There it is, I think. Oh, damn it. I think that's it over there. So... Salve again, friend. How is it possible? I'm busy right now. Uh, this is... Yeah. Any... No. <laughs> Get a turn around first. I saw you slide down that rope. Oh. He still tells you. Uh, that, that, uh, run for magistrate. The idea around once or twice, but from what I... <clears throat> Malleus withdrew from the election. Oh, that was unexpected. <laughs> I wonder what could have possessed him to do that. Well, I guess it's time for me to step up then. I'll let Equitia know I'll be running. That would be nuts. Like, imagine if... All right, friend. Someone break the enters into an election tell the day that it's about to be held. What? What? Uh, what were you doing down here? That dude needs to chill. She had freaking cat whiskers. No, yeah, I was gonna say that the only way that could work is if you had very few people. What's the status of the election? It must be completed by dusk. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Galerius, the challenger. Galerius. Why do you ask? Oh, can we start the election now? Perfect. As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. Holding it early may prevent conflict between the voters. Yeah, that would be better. Hmm. Yes. I have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. Very well. Come on. Does Dooley get to Citizens, vote? It is time. Dude, we Let finally made it to, to the election. Our magistrate. Dude, the the uh the current magistrate is gonna be pissed. <laughs> this whole time he thought we were helping him. I'm curious as what to happen if he wins though. I don't supp suppose we would see any like immediate changes since he was already running, unless it like creates some recoup or something. Recoup. Bash backlash. I don't know what I'm talking about. Jay, there's been an election every loop that hasn't ended early. Hasn't every loop ended early? Since since when what what does ending early mean? Because it only it ends when a sin occurs and there's all it always ends because a sin has occurred. So I'm not sure what that would uh, be based around. Hello. You're not busy, let's talk right now. I said talk to me right now. Right. The election happens after a certain amount of time if you don't trigger it. But I don't think that's ever happened. I'm pretty sure every time a sin happens first. Galerius Felver, Marcus Maliolus Gurgis withdrew his candidacy earlier today. He's gonna vote for Galileus. He's gonna vote for Galileus. He probably won't. Okay, so it's two for two. Name, call 
I don't know who he's gonna vote for. Oh no, they're. He's not gonna win. There's people here that Galius helped that isn't here. Wait, what? Why would Virgil vote for him? I. Man who treated my room wait, 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 wait. Why would Virgil vote for him when we convinced Rufius not to, to stop harassing him? Or to, I mean, to stop harassing him. Oh, come on. What the hell, Virgil? My fellow citizens, today you have sent me a message, and I want you to know I have heard it loud. Screw that guy. The many shall suffer. <sighs> all right, so I'm. I guess we have to loop this all over again. So, do I need to like talk to to root? Wait, what happened? Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Why did it say great time period? What happened? So I'm assuming, assuming we need to talk to Virgil directly, but I don't know, like, I don't know why the game wouldn't have us immediately tell Galileus to tell Virgil about the, the bullying as well. I don't know why they wouldn't include that, because then that would have won us the election right there. Jay, if you kill Sentius, there's no way he can summon you from the shrine, thus creating a time paradox. Wait, 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 Where the, what? What just happened? Where am I right now? What? Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fray. Isn't that the guy who's supposed to be dead? I'm Al. All worth, I came in here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Jay. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty. But the last entry meant. Did I just get like a bad name. ending or something? It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city. Because I mean, I didn't even, I didn't get to do the the four plaques that I was so close to doing. Some kind of ancient law. It said that the voice of a furious god rang out, and the ground trembled, and statues sprang to life, firing arrows at the city's inhabitants. Apparently, as the citizens screamed and died in pain, the stranger just vanished in a flash of light. Actually, that was me. Uh, what? You're saying you were here 2,000 years ago. So I'm you weren't? Not sure I understand. You never went back in time? Yeah, someone carved that tablet. It was probably the Greek cave philosopher who was hiding. He's the only one who would have survived. Uh, and maybe um, Kabash if he was down there at the time. Chris myself said, turn everyone into gold. When I first arrived here in the present day, I found your corpse hanging from a noose. Uh, I'm sorry, come again. I saw the suicide note you carved into this tablet um, here. Let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've it's spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. This is... Uh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how I could have written it. It was written by a different version of you. I changed the past in your fate. Please tell me I can reload. I... Damn it, but I didn't manual save. I don't know what I'm gonna do right now, guys. I'm because it's surely auto-saved at this point. And my last manual save was way when the I didn't save this entire stream, so I would have to go through the whole past hour all over again. I killed the man who opened the portal, drew back in time, prevent it from ever happening. So you're saying because a man I can reload an earlier ago, save, but I don't. I haven't saved the so entire stream. Through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. I guess. So what you're really saying is, you brought me back from the dead to let me die all over again. You saw the tablet. I spent a lifetime searching for a way out, and never found one. 
I can't see how I could possibly find one now, so it seems like we're both gonna die here. I regret nothing. Sorry, I made a mistake. Well, we don't know that. Maybe we'll get out. I regret nothing. How can you say that? Because maybe we'll you find a way out. Cold blood, and now there's a city full of dead people. And it's only a matter of time before we join them. I guess all those old Latin inscriptions were right. Pro peccata unius multis dolabat. Man, this game shall suffer for the sins of the one. Man, this game's like dialogue options are so silly. Because if we do the first one, ending one of four, apparently. How many might have survived if you hadn't killed Sentius in cold I wasn't trying to kill anyone in cold blood. I was just trying to make the loop go as quickly as possible. It just, he happened to be the one standing in front of me. Okay. Can we reload this, please? Do we have to watch all these credits? There we go. Goodness gracious. All I wanted was the daring time loop because Virgil betrayed us and didn't vote. I, I hope it keeps the last few autosaves fat because otherwise we're going to have to restart all the way back to where I started in the start of the stream. Okay, let's see. Oh, so the last autosave was 10 minutes ago, so that should actually be fine. Okay, good. I was worried about that. Ah, okay. I completed the game. I didn't, I got the bad ending Christmas off. And that guy didn't even understand my optimism at the end when he said we're stuck here forever and I didn't want to I didn't want to just agree with him. I wanted to be like, no, we could get out of here, buddy. But they instead, the game just treated me like a cold-blooded villain. It just ain't right. Oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. May fortune mm -hmm. smile on you, friend. Okay, so we need to convince him to... run. Already did that. God damn it. Oh, there we go. I picked the right one. Alright, perfect. Okay, so now we need to go... How come all of the the citizens aren't there voting? Why well, not only the the male citizens could vote, right? But but not even all the male citizens seem to be there. We gotta convince the Greek philosopher to come out of his caves. No, he wouldn't freaking vote. He'd be like, "But who is it, I, but a man to decide the fate of the city?" Or when I vote, is it not my entire ancestry who vote ahead of me? All that came before voting and voting again. <clears throat> I need to find freaking. Well, first we need to talk to Rufius directly, I think. And then... Tell him, yo, stop harassing that, uh, Virgil. And then we can tell Virgil, yeah, don't worry, he's not gonna harass you anymore. Or we just talk to Virgil first. Uh... Okay, don't worry about the threats. Uh, what theme? No, we gotta say that Galler Gallerius did it. You went snooping in his place? Have you? I would talk to him myself. Yeah, see, we need to talk what? to him, Rufus first. Even the game sent me to the freaking wrong person. There he is. 
I'm glad he wasn't busy. No idea what you're talking about? <sighs> Alright. Okay. Now. Welcome back. Uh, really? Ah, uh, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. He wants to have clean up the graffiti too. Really? That's promising. Who are you gonna vote for? Well, Cynthia seems to know what. My vote isn't for no, he's not. See, all we had to do is say that Galarus is the one who did it, and then he would have voted for him. But for some reason, this is the one person that we help that we can't. The game doesn't let us get the option of of having Galarus be the one to help. So we can't convince Virgil. So if I can't convince Virgil, who the hell am I supposed to? He's not never gonna be convinced. There's no way I can ever trust Dices. Did this guy vote for Cynthia's? Ah, Who are you voting for? Okay, nope, nope, he's voting for... Okay, who votes for Cynthia's that I could... Oh, how about the, uh, the dude who used to work, the one who was working for Malalake? Excuse me. Don't believe a word they tell you. Unless we could convince Equita, because she can vote for him. She just said she's abstaining. But she doesn't have to abstain. She can just vote. No, it doesn't give us the option to ask her. Okay, the, the only thing I can think of is the uh, Malaleus' guard. Because he kept saying, if you give me something... But maybe that was just to get into his house. Let's see. What are you voting for? Not going. <laughs> nope, he's not voting at all. Whatever. You can bribe the guy who tricks you about the bow. How do I bribe him though? Do I have to go through the whole freaking bow segment all over again and loop around and then tell him you did that to me? No, that's not what it is, Sword, because they didn't give me the option to tell Galerius to do that. As far as I can tell. But here's the thing, Fact. I don't trust that even if I paid him off that he would listen to me because he is untrustworthy. Even when he stands to make infinite money, he still locked me away with bees. To die. So how can I trust him to be bribed? Let's see. Ah, uh, are you wet? You're gonna vote for Cynthia's. I'd like you to vote for Galerius. Yeah, and what's he gonna do for me? He's not. Would a gift change your mind? Certainly, for a few thousand dinar. All right, here's a few thousand dinari. Pleasure doing business. Can I help you with it? All right. Hopefully, well. he he doesn't trick us here, because that's the last. One. I really didn't think there was any way we could convince him, because I didn't trust him. But okay, I'm gonna since the guide says you bribe him, we'll uh we'll go with that then. They should let Dooley vote. That's not right. If you vote for Senius, that would be reneging on a promise and trigger the golden rule. Uh, yeah. As I said, I'm planning if he worded it that directly, us. usually he's but sneaky about I that. Hold... Hmm. All right, here we go. Citizens, it is time. Let us meet to elect our magistrate.
Make sure you're quick about talking to Dooley and getting the plaque. Really? Something's gonna go wrong? Uh, is someone gonna, like, not like that he got elected? Oh, that sucks. So you can't even have Galerius, like, actually be the new leader? Alright, well, thanks for pointing that out. I, oh, man. I hope I could find him fast enough. Citizens. Wait, should I not even stay here for this? Should I just go? Because I know he's gonna win now. If you're saying I should hurry, maybe I should... Oh, he's right here. Okay. That'll be fast enough. I need to talk to him about getting it right, don't I? What beast we get all up now? Hannibal. Okay, I just want to make sure that he's actually going to give me those things. Basis, don't screw this Citizens, up. You have made your decision. Your new magistrate yes. is Gallus Galerius Helva. Yes, we did it. I actually kind of want to talk to the previous magistrate just to see what he says. Galerius is the new one. Yes, it's already over. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay, I think the game thinks that Do you love Gallery that they the game knows the election's over, oh. but it doesn't know that Galerius is the magistrate. Okay. Oh, I have to wait for Galerius to just show up. I thought maybe I could just tell him, like, oh, he's the new. I want to talk to the uh, former magistrate. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's the only one not here. He's the only one I wanted to talk to. Okay, Horatius is probably going to let him go right now. Fortune smiles on you today, Julius. Magistrate Galerius here has ordered your release. You're going to let me out? I'm sorry it took so long, my friend. No, Galerius wants to put you in an even smaller cage. Newcomer. So be sure to offer your thanks when you can. I will. I will. Thank you, Galerius. I'm so happy. Okay, okay, let him out. But I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Why don't you go to the baths and tell George I said you could have some new clothes. Then I want you to go oh, home go. and rest. I'll speak with you soon, Dooley. Hello. Uh, Black hello? face. I'm Dooley. Magistrate yeah, 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 Galerius took said it. I should thank the newcomer. Are you the newcomer? That's me. Oh, the silver says that's me. Oh, thank you. You're a big helper. Obviously. You're welcome. You can have my shiny plaque if you want. And maybe you can help me uh, find my treasure. My friend thanks. Hannibal used to look after me. And he said he always would, but before... Oh yeah, the key. Oh. Alright, can I do the key thing as well, or should I wait before that? Wait a minute. What's the point of even going in there now? Huh. We, we actually don't know what's in oh, there, do we? That wasn't for anything else. Insistence. Way up high. Do you think I should go into the cistern now, or wait until the next loop? Is it treasure? Maybe it is treasure. Well, I could see it for myself. Oh, <laughs> the cage door just flung Maybe open. He's just lying out here in the open. Maybe nobody wants him. Oh no, is Dooley gonna steal something and immediately trigger? Is it the brass mirror? The first thing Dooley does. Don't you dare. Oh my the god. Shall suffer. 
of a sin. Duly, no! Is Santia still gonna help even though we betrayed him? I can't believe Duly did this to us. He got out for five seconds. You know what? I'm starting to think maybe, uh, maybe Dooley was in there for a reason. Uh, hey CEO of Yoe Mama. You remember my epic rap battle YouTube poops? Yeah. Yeah, I sure do. I didn't have time to go to the Upper Cistern Sword, unfortunately. I have, it was, he had already triggered the, uh, the Golden Rule. But we'll we'll do we'll do that first before the because I'm pretty sure the four plaques will be the I'm assuming will lead to the real ending or at least we're gonna have that audience with Hades which could lead to the real ending but um we'll we'll do the upper cistern first. Oh, you mean first on the loop? Yeah. Um, I asked in either or. Yulia. Uh, there we go. Rufus has been threatening Virgil. Maybe I never, um, I actually never resolved that oh, line there, and that's why it wasn't giving me the option. All right. Let me Here we go. Tell Malice you know his real name is Quintius, thanks to Claudia, and that Nero sends his regards. What? Are you? <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? I doubt Demetrius will let me talk to him, but um, I'll go. I'm sure none of this election stuff matters anymore at this point because we just needed to get into Dooley's cage. Um, Alright, so Upper Cistern should be around here, right? Oh, look at that. I didn't even... I don't know if I've ever been this way, because I definitely would have noticed this. And I would have went over and seen what whatever is over here. It's free money, I guess. Okay. Huh. That's it up there, I think. So now... Around here? I'm like, oh, down here. Wait, that's not right either. Farther down? I know it's around this place. I just forget what side it is exactly. Okay, we don't we don't want to do the plaques yet because the plaques I think will be end game. Here, here we go. All right, let's see what the great Dooley was hiding from us this whole time: darkness, imprisoning me. All I can see. Ooh, it has to load in whatever it is. to unlock each individual door piece. Captive weeping! Oh no, this is the girl who's been missing, probably. Here's where she's been. Jeez, who the heck did this? The daughter, right? It was one of the daughters of the, the former magistrate. Did he send you? 
Okay, Jay, nobody sent me. Kid, are you here? You have to help me escape before that monster comes back. What's going on I'm here? Centilla. I found a way out through the gate of horn, but it's locked. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, he locked me up. He wants to keep us all here forever. What is, it's the magistrate, oh, isn't it? To gold. He's a monster. You no pronoun games. You gotta tell me who it is. Who is this? How oh, hasn't this broken the golden rule? I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape either. Who did this to you? Sentient. Yup, I knew it. My adoptive father. Furies help me. I'll castrate and crucify him. That's why he hasn't been so concerned about saving her. Where's the way out? Behind me. There's an aqueduct tunnel bringing water from outside the city, so it should lead us outside. The only problem is it's barred by a heavy locked gate, and he has the only key. What will you do if I release you? This must be what- because we, we see now that there's four endings. I didn't know that until a little bit ago. So maybe one of the endings is helping everyone escape that way? I guess- yeah, pretty much everyone w would like to escape, I, I would imagine. But I do want to get that audience with uh, Hades before I do that. I'm going to take that key from around his neck, even if it means cutting his throat to get it. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. Help me, and we can escape together. Okay, two of the other endings are here, and then the real ending is with Hades. So, so if they're both here, then maybe I should do... I might as well do all the endings, right? If you want, you can kind of lead me into these endings, just so I'm, you know, I'm doing them. Um, brought the others. There won't be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say? Why won't there be enough time? Okay, so what what do I need to do here to get the two endings? What if I round everyone up so they're ready to escape once the golden rule is broken? Is the difference going with her or rounding everyone up? Is that the two optional endings? If that's the case, um... Rounding people up might take a little while, huh? So we'll do the going just with her the first time, I guess. Thank you. Now fall Wait. Did you hear that? No. He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. Then turn around. Don't distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. I have a golden bow. Does that count? No, I would turn the key to gold. What did you do with Centilla? Where is she? Uh-oh. So he's the one who opens the portal. Uh, as if I tell you. So that is how it's going to be. Oh well, this doesn't change anything for me. It's a shame, really. If you'd just done what you were supposed to, you'd have been looping through time forever until you gave up and killed yourself. Just like that soft wow. pleb now. Shouldn't it be pleb? Because it's plebeian? You remember Al? Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one Wait, so you remember that time I turned you into gold? <laughs> I can explain. Happy accident, I'll never know. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was thinking you're a little bit To be fair, I haven't talked to you like since the very first time I met you to break the rules. He was a moralistic fellow never once compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. I watched him come through the portal. He doesn't remember that because it didn't happen. Oh, right, because that wasn't a loop. It was an ending. Shiveled, a little more haunted. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, 
tied a noose around his neck and took his own life just before he was shot. Dang, a whole jug. The next time I awoke, you showed up. But you, you've caught up to where he was so quickly. Yeah, you're done for, I'm buddy. If you give me more time to enjoy the trappings of my success, how many extra days did you give me? Just the seven? Not a lot compared with Al, but I've seized every. Does he actually say the exact amount of times we've looped? Case, there's no escape for you except the path that Al took, the path he wrote about. Can you do it all in one day? You can't do it all in one day because you need. Better to end it all. Maybe you can. Maybe there's like some way you can like speed run it. But I'm, I'm guessing so the intentional way. My secret. So what? Oh, look at her! Look! Is she gonna do something? Look, she's just standing there. That's hilarious. Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> so you asked me to figure out who was going to break through the world knowing I would fail every time. You knew there was a way out. Well, it's obvious. He wants to rule these people. Why? Isn't it obvious? Yeah, exactly. Because I have grown it and as long as this day... She's just looking at him. Itself, I get to enjoy it all. Over. And I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely. To cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you And no one would ever vote against you, as what was literally happening right now. You're going to die a painful death for this. Do you really think you could take on a Decurion with that flimsy little bird? Uh, yes, actually, but she's going to. Centilla? Where is she? Dude, he's oblivious. She's not even like behind him. Holy crap. How'd she do that? Was she supposed to be holding a torch? She just like poked him and he caught on fire. Come on, we have to go. Hey, what's happening to you? That light, it it's so bright. Okay, so... Obviously another bad ending, but uh, let's see if any anything's different this time after the paradox. Yeah, because we can't kill Centilla. We, we can't... It's going to lead to the same exact result, right? Because that's what happened last time. It was Centilla. Although the, the scripture is going to be slightly different. Oh, never mind. Hang on. Oh, there's Al. Uh, hi there. Give me a bit of a fray. Well, here. Funny you should ask. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, it described an event about 2,000 years ago. Freed an imprisoned woman named Centilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down. Apparently, the only person to survive was Centilla. While the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Actually, that was me. Uh. Uh. Okay, we're I'm just gonna go through this all over again. I mean, this is pretty much the same ending. I helps until he, except he's gonna maybe not think of us like a scumbag. I helps until he killed the man who opened a time portal and drew you back in time, preventing it from happening. Oh, so he never, we we he never got sent to that place. So you're saying. Because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it. Okay, so this is a bit different. Remember any of this. Now you're getting I it. I guess you saved my life then. As well as helping that poor woman to escape. That's a lot to take in. How about we get out of this Maybe place? Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Centilla used, if we can find it. It's right here in the cistern. Follow me. I want to go back to the city. It's not going to let me out, is it? Yeah, I don't think so. Probably for the best. Follow me through the water. Uh-oh, it's blocked off. Okay, we get to actually do a little bit more on this ending. We're not stuck in that time period anyways. Return to the river. 
Take me to the river. This is running great. Probably because, like you were saying, in fact, there's like no way less NPCs. Good idea. I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. Good idea. You go on ahead. I'll be there soon. So does the trap door just reset itself every time? It's so funny when I started this game, I had no idea what it was going to be, really, because I didn't look into it. Because at first I was like, oh, it's it takes place like back in like ancient Greek times or whatever. And then when the game started, and it was like, I have a flashlight, and I was like, oh, wait, no, it's modern times? Yeah. And then we went back in time, like that completely mixed me up. Okay, is that who I think it is? You're back, but you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? I found him. He'll be here in a moment. Oh, what a relief! Thank you so much. Wait, it says Sharon just right to there. You'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered? While we wait. I discovered your real name is Sharon, or was it Curdy? Ah, I see. I thought you. Well. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. No, I pretty much know exactly what was going on. You can just call me Charon if you like. It's pronounced Sharon. Get it right. I'm sorry, not completely honest with you when we first met. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned from five thousand years. Guys, I know how to say Sharon. Okay, just like in the the one in Hades, our our good friend Sharon, who runs the store. In gradual change, and coming to see the truth in their own time. What truth is that? That you died, of course. You were dead when I brought you here. My role, as the servant of the god of the underworld, has always been to assist the chosen to cross the threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. It's a hard CH like the singer. Cher, right? Cher, Sharon. Look, I'm a pro, guys. I know. You ain't gotta worry about me. How did I die? Hmm. Usually, when people do not remember... I probably fell died. and hit my head and it went into a river. It is suffered a terrible trauma. Most souls would rather not remember. Ask yourself honestly. Yes. As you wish. You were murdered. Oh, no. You made a purchase in a marketplace. And the change you received was, by mistake, a single silver coin of ancient origin. Really? You were seen inspecting it, and soon after, you were set upon by two thieves. The shopkeeper who had given you the coin saw the scuffle break out and leapt to your aid. You both fought bravely, but your assailants were armed, and you were not. There was nothing you or your ally could have done. He died instantly at the scene. So was Al the guy? A few hours later. Okay, yeah. That man's name. Yeah, yeah. Was Al Worth. You were each in possession of a sacred coin, called Karen's opal by some. And so it was my duty to bring you here. Charlie said, "If she's Sharon, then does she want to see the manager?" I think that's a Karen, right? Sharon is uh, is 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 the more quirky aunt. What's so special about these coins? Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans burying their dead with a coin in their mouths to pay the ferryman for passage across the river. Well, those stories contained a seed of truth. Not any coin a would do. Long time ago. My master created a thousand silver coins and had me distribute huh. them across the world. My orders were simple. Whenever a person died in possession... So that explains why you're not busy with, like, millions of people. That is a question you would have to ask him, if that were still possible, in light of the path you have chosen. I am just his... So what is going to happen with us since we now. escaped? I find myself bereft of purpose. You see, 
The coins on you and Al were the last of the thousand in existence. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After 5,000 years, the underworld has finally run its course. Oof, so this is gonna be us and Al forever, huh? I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That is she gonna turn back to the north? Like yourself. Look, here goes Al now. <laughs> Al, it's so good to see you. You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again. Kind of lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an event 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of, well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Centella? How could you... What? She left a tablet of her own. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. I think she meant for you to read it. Really? Here, take a she look. left us a thank you note? I don't know what became of you, or if you're Dear ever with this, but I want you to know that I will never forget you, or what you did for me. It pains me that so many dear friends were not so fortunate. Olpius, Sentia, Lucretia, Horatius, Galerius, poor Dooley, and the others. Oh, poor Dooley causes apocalypses in some timelines. on my hands, not yours. I will live with the consequences of my actions, and all I can do is move forward, trying to show others the same compassion you showed me. I promise you that saving my life will not be for nothing, Centilla. It's supposed to be like tortilla, Centilla. Well, that's funny, because whenever I saw it, I wanted to say Cynthia, but I just was assuming the way they were saying it was the right way. Sounds like you meant a lot to her. I'd love to hear your story, but first, you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization? Sounds Fairy. good to me. Nice and word you, in there. Are you ready to go home? All right. The one that got away. So we got ending two that time. That's funny. We're, we're like set up to get like all the endings like pretty quick uh, soon after each other. It looks like because now we're going to do ending three, which I assume is you you round all the uh, people up, which hopefully that's not too difficult to do. Director, writer, designer and producer Nick Pierce. And the rest. And the rest. Imagine if there was a cr like you worked on a game with a bunch of other people, and then it says like, you know, director, writer, da -da, and then it says and the rest. <laughs> that would be pretty messed up. All right. So the auto save was. Uh, kind of a long time. But that's fine. Actually, ooh. I hope that that's not too far back. Let's see. Shinji Mikami and the original dev team. Oh, right. That's what the uh, RE4 remake said, right? Like, I could kind of understand why they don't want to say everyone who worked on the original, because I'm assuming most, if not all, of the people who worked on the original probably didn't work on the remake. But at the same time, it's like, if you're gonna mention that at all... You know... Alright, so I think it... Yeah, good. This is perfect. I think we're right outside. Alright. Who's my favorite character in the game? Uh...
Oh, Galerius was cool right at the start. Like, immediately, the fact that he was so open-minded and nice, despite the fact that he, he assumed we were kind of crazy. Um, yeah, he, he's definitely... He, he, he's... I think he's in the running for best character. I could agree with that. I don't know if I need to ask her all this stuff. Behind me. I need to ask her where the way out is, Behind probably. The... If I round up everyone. There's no time. Wait, did you hear that? He's here. Damn it! Oh, now I don't know. You have to let me go. It's now or never. Okay, you need to tell me what I'm supposed to do here because I don't. If I let you go, everyone else is going to die. Am I gonna like lie to Sentius and be like, "Oh, I'm fine with this"? What? No. Our escape isn't worth the lives of everyone here. It's too dangerous. Let me see if I can persuade Senius to let us go. This will pri prioritize the new quest. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here. It's no use. You're I need to try. You're making a I feel like I'm not doing the right thing here. Huh. I thought she said she could... Well, that's the thing. She said I can hear him coming. And he wasn't coming. Because that's why I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to round up everyone because he's coming. But apparently that wasn't true. Okay, I don't know why they had her say that when he actually wasn't coming. Uh, Alright, so... I think we need to know that there's an escape route before we can try to round everyone up. So I assume you have to talk to her first. Hang on, there's probably... I actually don't have... Oh, here we go. Confront Sentius about his abduction of Sentia. I'm gonna try to talk... ...to someone else. It's funny how Sentius is like, Oh yeah, this is great, I get to die over and over again, painfully. Like, is that really that good, my guy? Oh, that's true, because now I know, so we could loop it. But let me see if I could just talk to them. He's busy. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Um, okay, I'll just loop it then. Good news, Alpheus. Maliolus has agreed to release you and Yulia from your debts. Uh, what? Are you messing with me? One of us call my friend a liar. We're... We're free. Apologize to him now. Thank you. It seems fortune smiles on us after all. I'd better go and pay a visit to Yulia immediately. Oops. The I couldn't explain. He's terrified. <laughs> Talk to him later. Alright, where's that one guy at? Oops, I got stuck. Uh, I need to go this way. <sighs> Look, it, it, he, he just happened to be the first person who was in front of me that wasn't hilarious. So, he, he just got the, the bad luck of the draw there.
What are you doing? Oh! Oh my god! Okay, well that's the first time I've seen that. I got worried, I thought he was stuck there for a second. Alright, so yeah, now we should be able to tell Galerius to round everyone up, and hopefully they believe him. They missed when I accidentally shot Galerius? You mean Mal Maliolus? Oh no, I accidentally shot Galerius in like a previous stream, huh? I was trying to hit Rufius, I think, because he wouldn't let me talk to him. Mind telling me? The golden rule is going to be broken soon. I need you to quietly get everyone except Sentius ready to run into the upper cistern when the ground starts to rumble. What? That's a big ask. But something tells me... You're not kidding. All right. I'm yeah. <laughs> I doubt I'll be able to get. Yeah, that was pretty messed up. People. All right. Well, who? I'm guessing it's just going to specifically be the the nicer people. Okay. Then then we need to go to the cistern and be ready for this. Um. What is this? I don't remember this little tunnel. Oh, it's this little store area. Okay. The 49 melodies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm supposed to tell him to do the quest first and then gather the people? I hope not. Because uh, we, we sure as heck didn't do that. Oh, the poisoned lady. Oh, God damn it. I need to re-loop this again, don't I? Okay. It's fine, are you sure? Because I didn't think about that. Also, Ulpus or whatever is going to freaking jump to his doom as well. I mean, it makes sense though. Like, why would the poison lady be able to escape if she's in the middle of being poisoned? I'm trying to remember how to get to the cistern though. I know it's one of the higher up areas. Ooh, free money. It's funny because uh, gold is one of like the weakest metals, right? It's like very easily broken. So because I turned leaves, vines, metal, I think they would probably be more likely to break than less. It's Sisyphus. So can I just go in there? I'm assuming that you don't have to actually wait, right? You can just kind of go. Fax is wrong about this as they're about the Civil War. I didn't know Fax had hot takes about the Civil War. We've had this conversation before. What? I told Galerius to lead everyone here when the golden rule's broken so they can escape too. How did you know? Wait, did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind you. Distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. It wasn't very civil. 
Gold is ductile it when it snaps super easily. Oh, okay. What did you do? It, it's more, it's more the, isn't it? It's bendy, right? Like you can bend and melt gold really easily. You're human garbage. So that is how it's going to be. It's a ship you'd have been. Come now. You see, but he was a and because we already had this conversation, that's why I'm skipping this so much. Is she going to like... <laughs> yeah, she just inconspicuously, or right, conspicuously rather, just sh walks right next to him. He must have no peripheral vision. Of course, there's no way you could have succeeded. Man will always sin sooner, as I do, by reliving the same day over and over again forever. And I will continue living long after your dust. It's an alloy with duck feathers. You're going to die a very painful death do for this. Do you really think you could take on a dick? Who? Centilla? Where is she? I'm right here, father. I still don't get what... How is she setting him on fire? And then she pulls something away from the midair? Mid -air? Is that supposed to be her taking the, the key from his neck? Suffer for the sins of the one. Come on, we have to go. The other should be right behind us. Hey. All right, here we go. What's happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. She's a witch. Okay, so that that explains everything. Yeah, when I first saw her pulling her hand back, I thought that she was supposed to be like holding a torch or something that she was like dropping. Sentius is just well oiled like all Roman males. They're just constantly oiling themselves. So this is probably going to be pretty much the same ending as the other one, just the note is going to be uh, there. different. A bit of a fray. And the scriptures. Wow. Really? You described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your freed an imprisoned woman named Centilla, who then murdered her captor. Break right. Sick. Apparently, Centilla and a handful of other citizens managed to escape. While the yep. Uh, what? Uh, um, God, why does... Okay, so this we've all seen already. I... So you're saying, because a man... I get... Okay, so now we can go see. I'm assuming the note she leaves is different. So it's, it's a marginally different ending, but it is nicer than more people got to escape. And then we'll get to see the true ending, which thankfully we're already set up for. We already have. It's funny, because I guess all we had to do was the Dooley key. And then we would have just maybe gotten one of these endings and it's like, oh, that's the ending. But we already did all the other plaques, so we're perfectly ready to go. You go on ahead. You go on it. But I want to go back in there and say hi to my friends. One of Plato's dialogue is about Socrates stopping and having a conversation with a teacher who's leading a bunch of students on a trip to cover themselves in oil and wrestle. That sounds familiar, actually. I think I might have heard that. Did they do that just because it makes it harder when you're wrestling to, like, grip each other? Because it would be harder to get people in a hold if they're all oily. You're back! But you're alone. Oh, why don't you? Really? Sounds amazing. Oh, what look, you... you don't get the whole oh, look, Sharon conversation. Ow, or Charon, so as some people would say. You were gone so long, I thought I'd never see you again. Kind of lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an event 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of, well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. 
Maybe they just like being shiny. That woman. Makes people taste her when you accidentally lick them mid wrestle. Hmm. She left a tablet of her own. Hmm. I hear. Alright, so the tablet's gonna be the real different thing here. Let's see. I don't know what became of you, or if you'll ever read this. But Octavia, Lucretia, Horatius, Equitia, and I will never forget you. Yeah, it looks like Dupe, Dupley and uh, us that so many what's her name <laughs> didn't make it. Including Olpius and Galerius. Who heroically tried to rescue Dooley, but never made it back. Damn it! But there is no so I don't know if we actually got the third ending been. because. All we can do is take this gift you've given us. And maybe we to needed to do something slightly different. You us. Or maybe we'll we just do the Hades you. ending and then everyone. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Not for nothing. It, it'll tell and us if we got the third ending done. or not. Sounds like you meant a lot to her. You two look exhausted. Sounds good to me. And you? Okay, so that was the third ending. Good. Alright. I was a little worried maybe we didn't quite do it. Uh, oil in Greco-Roman culture and the broader Mediterranean is a sign of wealth and divinity, so they did it all the time. Oh, I see. How many minus drive if you confronted the god of the underworld? Okay, so now we're ready for the big, the big boy ending. So the dev team is just called Modern Storyteller. Over and on again. Both Greco and Roman soldiers. I could lose a limb and still find a way to fight them. Mm. English and Western Stallion. There are some differences in the fourth inning depending on if you send uh, Galerius to do the quest or not. Alright, then we'll we'll make sure to do that. Oh, I'm gonna have to make it loop again though to do that, right? We'll just make it loop real quick just in case, because I I think this is gonna load us up on having left. It's going to load us up like right outside of the, uh, that, uh, the cistern. In what you get, no tears, just blood and sweat. Although it has a No, 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 no. Forcing me to talk to her. Alright, I'll be going now. Please don't walk to the edge. Oh my god. I'm gonna be mean. I'm not waiting for this. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna loop. Alright, good luck with that. Alright, go on then. See ya. Centillum, my love. Okay, get it over I'm with. Sorry. Olpius, no. I, I've already talked him out of it. There's no point. I'm gonna loop time anyways. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. But, uh, I guess I could have shortcutted. If you talk him out of it, it changes the ending a little bit. I mean, that's fine, but I still need to loop it anyways to get Galerius to uh, do the missions for everybody. He looks busy. <laughs> he looks busy being turned to dust. And what 
what you get No tears, just blood and sweat There was more things than that, right? I'll go. Wasn't there more but like don't harass? I, to... I didn't see the don't harass Virgil on there. I don't think that concerns me a little. Bit. It, it had me do three things. I remember there being like five things. Was the Opus thing even on there? Oh well. I hope. Hopefully. Hopefully, I don't know. I swear there's there's been times where there was more things to, to have him do right there. Oh, maybe we don't have to do the Opus thing because Sentius is already going to get uh, forced into dropping out and everything. So maybe that takes care of like a couple things automatically. Okay. Here we go. The final plaque. Ah, uh, hello, Haiti. I'd like to have a talk with you. It's funny, they mentioned, like, be wary of spoilers after the white hallway, but I, I st we've never entered a white hallway. I actually have no idea what... what uh, that was referring to. And we're, like, at the end game now, so I'm not even sure what they meant by that. Hades, Lord of Many, Grammy and Audience. Nurgle, the Fierce One, Grammy and Audience. Osiris, Lord of Silence, Grammy and Audience. Pluto, Father of Riches, Grammy and Audience. Say nothing. Hmm. I'm assuming it doesn't matter what we call him, because it's it's literally just a rose by any other name, right? It's We know who we're talking to. Oh, maybe we have to use all the names? Oh, this 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 guy's like you gotta use all my names. Okay. Oh, it depends on where we are, like the room. So that last one was Pluto. So now we're going backwards. Right, it's based on the architecture. So now it's the the Egyptian one, which was Osiris. Yeah, see, you have the... Okay. That's what's going on here. And now we have the Sumerian... Woo, that's... Oh, the White Hallway! We did it! So, okay, out of everything that's happened, this is the huge twist, finally, huh? This is the one that they warn you on the title screen. We're in a spaceship. This was just a VR training the whole time. Look, there's like different entry points as well. You know what it is? It's just yeah, I'm just updated. You know, I'm I'm the god of death, but I mean I can still be caught up with modern times. Can I have a cell phone? You know, I use I use YouTube. And here. Yeah. Allow me to introduce Wonder who this myself. is. As you have already gathered, I've been known by many names. Nergal to the Sumerians, Osiris to the Egyptians, Hades to the Greeks, and Pluto to the Romans. But the one constant through it all has been my title, God of the Underworld. 
And I've been watching you with curiosity, mortal, ever since your arrival. You're unlike the others, aren't you? And what is more, you carry a weapon that was never intended for mortals to wield, and you do it so brazenly. But there will be time for your reckoning later. My reckoning? First, as a reward for undoing the desecration of my obelisk, I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. Ask what you will. What's your story? How did you get here? Well, I f uh, the fires happened and I fell into a river and I was holding a coin. I would die right now if that's what he, he said. My story is many thousands of years. Even he, that happened to him, to be that'd be so funny. What do you wish to know? Uh, you're a god? It is a matter of perspective. God is a label I was given by the mortals, not one I made myself. Your ancestors revered me because to them, my knowledge and technology made me incomprehensibly powerful. Technology? Might seem so to this gives me like, but um... Despite all that, there are rules even I must obey. What, what, what was the name of that 360 game? Oh, what was the name of that game? It's this game that has like... It's like Greek or Nordic mythology, but it's like futuristic at the same time. Um, and I think there was some weird controversy. Too human, yeah, yeah. Because my cousin had that game, and I remember playing playing it. It's it's giving me that that kind of vibes. Why do you look and sound like a man? Mike and I all adopted this form long ago, so that we might better understand and communicate with your kind. In time, we grew fond of the sensory delights it affords. Desire. Norse joy, mythology, that's what it was, yeah. It, even rage and sorrow. I just, I played like a good chunk of that game when I was visiting him one time. Detective. May I see your true form? No. Long ago, I swore to Persephone that I would remain in this form for as long as we remained among your kind. I must honor that. The hit roguelike Hades. <laughs> Who's the woman on your left? This There's a woman on your left. My beloved. Can I look like me? Oh. She has been known by many names. Erish Kigel to the Sumerians, Isis to the Egyptians, Persephone to the Greeks, and Persephone to the Romans. So she was or the one whispering. You might know her as the goddess of springtime, the cycle of life and renewal. Oh, uh, she's been whispering all the time, by the way. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Is that on your right? That is my servant. You would have Set. by the river. Servants of... many faces and goes by many names. Kumu Tabal to the Sumerians. Kurti to the Egyptians. Oh, it's Kalon Sharon. to the Greeks. And Kalon to the Romans. Her role is to ferry souls between the mortal world and this one. And to make their transition as seamless as possible. For that, she earned herself the infamous, if erroneous, moniker, the Fairy Queen. We will talk more later, but now, ask your questions. Let's talk about something else. As you wish. What is this place? It has come to be known simply as the Underworld, and it exists because of a wager I made long ago. What was the wager you made? That is a long story. One that began over 3,000 years ago and continues to this day. You see, long ago, my kin and I set out from our home on Elysium to search for other forms of life among the stars. We discovered your planet and witnessed your kind evolving from primates into something lawless and barbaric. Oh, so the primates were you all plenty lawful and humane. Too short but it was after that <laughs> it became violence and ignorance. Or bear. disease. Yet Persephone saw raw potential in you. You persuaded the rest of us it would be squandered without our intervention and stewardship. So we revealed ourselves to your people in a place called Sumer. We offered guidance in agriculture, toolcraft, and law, and you called us gods. 
For a time, you flourished. Ah, uh, so you're Soon taking all the credit for human see. innovation. And as you spread from that cradle of civilization, we invented the internet, not you. We had sown the seeds of dependency and confusion. And soon you return to your old ways of violence and ignorance. This time in our name. My kin had seen enough and gave up on your kind, condemning you as barbaric and chaotic, scarcely more than animals. We began preparations to return to Elysium, our home world, a utopia unspoiled by conflict. Did you get the short end of the stick and you had to stay here and watch but over us? Serpent, I could not bear to abandon you guidance and knowing it would force the rest of us to leave her behind she made an extraordinary sacrifice she gave up her immortality to descend permanently to the ranks of humankind and so she began her you know humans always to whispering to each other via gold statues horrified i acted swiftly i placed her in suspended animation in a deep frozen sleep to prevent age and sickness from claiming her. And then I plead. Do you like turn her on once a year? For the Romans and then like freeze her again? To bring her with us to Elysium. It was and is my hope that once there, we might one day learn to undo what she has done to herself. But he refused. I did everything I could to persuade him, but he would not relent. He would rigidly uphold his final pronouncement. Humans were unworthy of ascension to Elysium. No exceptions would be made. But seeing that I was aggrieved, he proposed a wager, the terms of which were as follows. If even one human city could prove itself capable of living without sin for a single year, then Proserpina and all of humanity would be permitted to join us in Wow. Elysium. My part would be to remain behind. Wait a minute, so that little community hadn't even been around for a year? Without interfering, and to sit in silent judgment. And so my reward has been to languish here, enduring a 3,000 year winter, waiting for the day your kind proves itself worthy of her faith in you. So that I might. Dude, if you made your rules easy, more clear, then it probably would have happened a long time ago. And here I am. After all this time, still waiting. Who are your kin? There were also gods who, like me, have been known by many names. But perhaps you knew them by their own names. Our leader, Jupiter, as well as Neptune, Saturn, Juno, Minerva, Mars, Venus, Apollo, Diana, Vulcan, Vesta, Ceres, and of course, my beloved Persephone. L plus ratio plus Hades is dumb. Who built the city? As the first wave of your kind arrived from Sumer, I had them build a city in their own fashion so that they might be comfortable and recreate their lives here. I had them build the entrance as a vertical shaft leading to baths to cleanse them of the sins of their former lives and to prevent escape. I watched wave after wave of Sumerians arrive as their civilization declined over the centuries, they were replaced by Egyptians. Of course, believing themselves to be the superior civilization, the Egyptians promptly built over Yeah, what we kind of form, figured that. Made all the same mistakes. And then After another thousand, the Greeks, and then the Romans. They built upon the underworlds of their predecessors, renamed their gods, and ensured their foundations were forgotten. Are you, do you decide it, the coins? We already to know that. The wage was fair. To this end, I had yeah, a thousand coins were distributed. Died while in possession of one of them would be as the tokens right, so just random chance. They were traded, smelted, and fashioned into later when they spread to Greece. They would, some placed coins in the mouths of their dead, hoping they would awaken here. In fact, almost all of the tokens are accounted for. Only two remain. Your kind would have squandered the last of its potential to ascend beyond this rock. How did humans learn about the underworld? It is a regrettable story. One of the first men who came to this place was a king of Sumer, and a troublemaker. To be rid of him, I returned him to his people, 
on the condition that my servant erased his memories of this. But the erasure did not take completely. And he told stories of this place. See, that's the interesting about Greek gods and Nordic his gods and stuff is that they're flawed. They're, they're very human in a lot of ways. The epic of well, I tried to erase their mind, but it didn't quite work. Twisted and distorted over generations. Oh, the epic of Gilgamesh. Later, the Egyptians would adapt through the stories of the underworld, making them wildly intricate and labyrinthine. Their Book of the Dead and Book of Gates bore less and less resemblance to this place. In their priest's pursuit of profit. Like how even the first the version of the story was kind of distorted by the dreamlike nature of like in a series of half erased memories. Repeated. Five of them escaped. A warrior named Heracles. Two Heracles. Sisyphus and Theseus. Sisyphus and Theseus. Orpheus. Orpheus. The Trojan named Aeneas. Aeneas. They each told embellished tales of this place. How to get here and how to escape. And so from Sumer to Egypt, Greece Heracles was like, oh man, I had to like chop, fight a hydra and this and that, and all I had to actually had to do was find a tunnel. Each story contained only a seed of truth. Talk about something else. Of course. Are you responsible for the golden rule? That is merely the name your people have given to it. But yes, oh boy, here we go. It is my duty. Why turn people into gold? That is a story dating back to the very first wave. After the Sumerians finished building their city, the self-declared ruler threw a banquet to celebrate. Now this man was unmarried, and many women were vying to become his wife. Prestigious position, power, and influence in the new world. Of all the women, two were particularly ambitious. Both were beautiful. And both arrived at the banquet wearing eye-catching dresses and painted faces. Their hair woven in... At least he's at entertainment watching all this go on like he's watching a TV show. Quite an advantage to the longest-running soap opera of all time. herself in jewelry, ornate necklaces, bracelets and rings fashioned from gold. Seeing this ostentatious display, the second woman grew envious, for she had no such jewelry at her disposal. She prayed aloud to any gods that would listen to cover her in gold. And when her prayer went unanswered, she took matters into her own hands. While the others indulged at the banquet, the second woman summoned the first for a discussion in a quiet place. She checked that nobody was watching and pushed her rival from the top of the ziggurat well. where she broke her neck on the rocks below. But I was watching. Okay. I decided to answer her prayer. You, you decided to uh, be a smart ass. Diana, and I shot that woman in the heart, covering her from head to toe in a layer of molten gold. And I left her to stand there. But I wonder if we can find that specific statue somewhere, probably. Those who sin in my domain. But that was not enough, for the entire city was tainted by her sin, and the wager could no longer be won. Ah, that's so debatable. I had no choice but to wipe the slate clean. I gilded them all to make way for a new wave and began the wager again. And to this day, each of them and all it came after line the halls of this city. See, that's the flaw with collective punishment because all these people who might have never sinned, you're like lumping so them in with witness to people who would. Eternity, the silent golden sentinels. That's nasty that they can see in here that whole time. So you're responsible for destroying all these lives. I give your kind a second chance at life, as well as ample warning about my law. Ample warning disobey, without details. You always disobey. You force my hand, bringing terrible suffering upon yourselves. And so you ask if I am the one destroying your lives. I say, no, you destroy yourselves. I am merely the means by which you do it. So you already said left behind. Oh, my kindred, the golden bow originally belonged. Diana. As my collection of golden statues grew, I chose the most ferocious among them and equipped and tossed a duplicate of her bow. What do you consider a sin? I've always considered that the cornerstone of morality is the ability to determine right from wrong on one's own. 
No attempt to lay out rules like your Code of Hammurabi or your 12 Tables of the Roman Republic can ever cover all possible scenarios. This should come as no surprise to you, since the core principle has been expressed in many forms by many of your civilizations. The Egyptians made a rudimentary attempt with do to the doer to make him do. The Greeks refined it with avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. The Roman Stoics added, treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Even the so-called cultists hiding among you often say, do, do unto, unto others, others as you would have them do unto you. Do unto it is the simplest of concepts, and each one of you is born with the faculties required to apply it to any situation. Yet none of the peoples who expressed this rule were able to uphold it. Curious, um, is it not? What's the official onboarding for this project? Obviously you were told about the golden rule from the Romans, but who told them? Yeah. Yeah. That principle's not as easy as to play as it sounds. It doesn't seem like you've been upholding it either. I've always lived my life that way. It seems... Weird to just accuse him suddenly. Let's hold off on that. <laughs> For you, perhaps. How do you know when people sin? I'm able to commune with all of the statues in the city. Their ears are my ears, and their eyes are my eyes. It's press being connected to the statues. If she was still conscious, I suppose she could, but she's not. Why do you ask? No reason. Then what an That's odd a lie. question. I've seen some terrible things here that you didn't consider a sin. How could you let them happen? Do you plan to speak in sweeping generalizations? Or are you going to give me an example? Oh yeah, sure. I'm sure we have suicide. Let's I've do. seen no such thing. But in any case, taking one's own... You've never seen an example of that this whole time? It is not one that is... Like, I know Duke Lee or whatever, However, we stopped him, but surely... No, Al Therefore, literally it did. He said that one who commits suicide has done anything unto others. Right, they haven't done anything to anyone else. Uh, eh, I mean, you can hurt people by doing that, though, so that's not exactly true completely. Applying this rule always requires us to interpret the meaning of the words. No, I know this is the one looped to him, but you're telling me after the thousands of years, not one other person suicided? Although, once again, Al has already suicided at this point, right? So he should have seen that, especially since he was turned to gold. The language is full of ambiguity. Doesn't make sense. The rule inherently subjective and unreliable. Supposing you're right, then my law has been broken, and I should turn you all to gold immediately. Is that what you want? I'm right and you know it. Uh, I'll just say that. Huh, whatever. Now tell me, what other... Price gouging for life-saving medicine, that's Emergent. pretty bad. How is that inconsistent with the rule I've outlined? You wouldn't want someone else to demand an outrageous price for the medicine he needed if he was dying. I disagree. Having watched this merchant, that is precisely what he would expect from others, and he would be quite capable of paying the price anyway. You can't know what he would expect, you're just speculating. Though. Applying this rule always requires speculation to some degree. It requires us to ask what an other... Doesn't that make it inherently subjective and unreliable? Not if we're wise enough to know the mind of man. Do you think the... You know the minds of other people? Hmm. Supposing you... Alright, so I have to once again say never mind. Debt bondage. You speak of the money lender. How is that in... You wouldn't want to be trapped in a 30-year labor contract because of a loan. And he would never have signed a contract pledging his labor for 30... What concept of debt bondage like slavery is unethical? It's illegal under international law where I'm from. Ignoring your irritating sense of moral superiority. This is... I'm curious, how do people escape poverty away? 
I was going to take a loan to buy a house and then some place to pay for an education. That doesn't explain. That's not a good answer at all for how do people escape poverty. I see. And how long might it take such a person to repay their debt? That's a horrible example. I fail to see how your system. Yeah, why why did the game set us up to be debt bondsmen uh, hypocritical with that? Years. That was bad. Now tell me. Experiments on golden statues. Oh yeah, that's sometimes torture is worse than palace. just killing someone. How is that? The rule is and if they're they're others, they're leaning way too hard into the do on to others situation. Else now. Someone could be completely insane, and they don't care what someone does to them, so they could do whatever they want to everyone else. Like that's really flawed. Now tell me. Yeah, I don't think he's doing a good job arguing these abduction. abduction. You mean the magistrate? He did so because she sought to escape. Better that he stops her from escaping, albeit booted. Hmm. So <laughs> no. It's no wonder people say the gods are cruel. This just shows how unreliable and subjective your moral code is. You're no better judging right from wrong than any human. Do you honestly think you could do better? No, but that's my point. Nobody's grasp of right and wrong is so perfect they can be trusted with all this power. You've become a tyrant. I should strike you down for that. And if you did, you'd be proving my point. For enough talk, I'm going to end this. Uh, that seems kind of silly to try to fight him. So let's do the first one. Huh. Now, did you have any other... I guess that's it then. I mean, we could try to bow him later, but I'm sure that wouldn't have gone well. Good. Then now it is time for your reckoning. Only, it seems, something is wrong. It has long been in my power to see to the hearts of mortals and weigh their deeds in life. But, when I peer into you, I see only a black slave. As if you did not exist until you appeared in this city. Because I'm a video game How character. Carol, where did you find this one? I do not remember. Oh, it's because he has amnesia, huh? How did you come here? Wait, you don't remember? Oh. Because this is the past version of everyone. That's so weird. Because Al also came from the future. But he died. So Al never... No, he did go to the past. Huh. We... So when we go to the past, we go farther in the past, like as if before Al never came to the past, but then that doesn't make sense because Sentius remembers Al. There's, there's a little bit of confusion going on with the timeline here. Uh, I'll just say I'm from the future. If that is true, then I sense the intervention of someone powerful. How did you come to be in this time, mortal? Who brought you here? I cannot know. Okay, so here's what I'm hung up on. So Al is supposedly have has gone here already, right? And we see his gold statue when we when we land through the trap door and we're in the city, but it's in the future where everyone's gold already. We see Al hanging there. But when we go into the past, there is no Al statue. Nobody remembers Al, but Sentius remembers Al because Al had supposedly gone to the past and looped around. But if that's the case, it, it just, it, it seems conflicting that Sentius remem remembers Al, but then also we we are there before Al has gotten there, supposedly. Um, sure, Sentius remembers the loops, but how is Al's body in the future if... Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Well, anyway, let's focus on this right now. 
I was hoping you could tell me. I do not know. My kin departed long ago, and Proserpina has slumbered for 3,000 years. I guess you know you don't know everything that goes on here. Shouldn't you know this as the god of the underworld? Tread lightly, mortal. Enough of this. It seems I will need to put your reckoning on hold for now. The answer is, why have you come here? What is it you seek? I'm here to kill you. I'd like you to put an end to the golden rule. <laughs> your hubris is amusing, so I will allow you to make your case. If you anger me or waste my time with lies or wrong-headed arguments... Well, we've already lied, so that's not going to work out very well, is so, it? Tell me, why should I put an end to the so-called golden rule? If you're doing this for love, you should know that Prespina doesn't love you. Oof. How can you expect us to live without sin if you can't do it yourself? The golden rule is corrupting the city and ensuring you'll never win the wager. I think that's actually the best. How um, so? And be specific. You have made a grave allegation, and I expect you to back it up. Decius is price gouging for life's immensity because he knows nobody could take it by force. Rufius has become so paranoid that he's jumping out shadows like Virgil's sexuality. I mean, there's two right there. I feel like we should have more than that, but okay. True. I have witnessed him doing that. He is a volatile and confused fellow, that one. Did we not get enough examples to get the good ending? I, I feel like that's not enough. I feel like we needed to have something more than that, but I don't... Hmm. I mean, the, how about the fact that Sentius... The biggest example is that Sentius is doing all kinds of horrible stuff just because of the golden rule. He's able to utilize the golden rule. You will need to do a lot. Yeah, I, f I feel like we I feel like we missed something here, and I'm gonna have to come loop again around again. But I don't I don't know why we want to bring up the Sentius stuff. He's literally got his freaking daughter locked up. I mean, if I have to say this stuff, I think he's going to get mad, but I, I don't know what else I can do. That is a very serious accusation, mortal. What sin have I committed? Didn't you abduct Prosperina and imprison her here? Hmm. I am well aware of the story told by the Greeks and Romans of my so-called abduction. It is entirely unfair. My love was dying, and I intervened the only way I could to save her life. Then she choose to die. It was an act of rebellion against the others. She knew I would have to act to save her. And I did, because I loved her. I love her still. Accordingly, I reject You trap people in the city against their will. These people were all dead when my servant found them. Second chance at life. Them. Maybe, maybe some people don't want to exist. Then you still have the option to end your life, should you wish. And accordingly, You've given terrible punishments to hundreds of people, some for minor sins and some who committed no sins at all. I mean, that's the best example right there. Every one of those people was guilty of failing to ensure their peers lived virtuously. They failed collectively. And you're failing to ensure so that they're living virtuously. The Romans understand this, as did the Greeks before them. Crime from collective punishment is considered one of those egregious crimes areas. If our position was reversed, you wouldn't want me to punish you for the sins of other people. Uh, yeah, because if it's just like where I'm from, like that just sounds so ignorant. Ah, uh, but I am a god, and you are a mortal. Why would you expect me to treat you as I treat my own kind? You are not a peer. You are not a respected equal. Let me ask you this. Do you treat insects as you wish to be treated? Do you care for their well-being as you would your fellow man? Do you ensure I mean, I put spiders outside when I find them. Predators. Do you give them rights? Of course not. Because that would be absurd. Just as it would be absurd for me to treat your kind as equals. I don't know. I feel like once a being has, like, concepts of, like, self and... 
able to have like experience great like suffering and, and stuff that's I feel like at that point you always hear those examples like you are but an insect to no you are to me what an insect is to you but I feel like humans would be a lot closer to these versions of gods than insects would be to people like because insects don't have like the same types of emotions and the feelings and stuff I guess and I don't even like just randomly killing insects either I'm just saying like using his logic Uh, what makes your kind superior to me? Oh. Ooh, this is a good point. You're in love with one of us. My love for her does not mean I am not superior now that she is mortal. What makes your kind superior? Where to begin? Our lifespans exceed yours, in which time we accumulate vast wisdom and a mastery of technology you cannot begin to imagine. It's just the iPhone 26. Come on, calm down. Why does wisdom and technology make you superior? Because that is the source of our power. You think you're not obliged to treat us fairly because you're more powerful than us? Hmm. You could say that. Okay. Treat your inferior as you would wish. Well, that's just like look at like what sentius is doing because of that same logic like oh have no superiors Did you say jupiter was your leader there's a hierarchy within your kin hmm that is true go on there we go so are you treating humans the way you would wish jupiter to treat you make your point mortal i mean i think it's pretty obvious if you can't follow your own rule how can you expect humans to let me ponder that if you're right, then it would follow that all this time I have been in the wrong. But no, <laughs> the very thought of it aggrieves me. How can I accept your argument when doing so would make me a tyrant and a monster? I mean, that's the first step, buddy. You gotta acceptance. You're not a monster, you're a human. I don't think he wants to hear that. It's the truth. You've committed atrocities and you need to own up to it. Ah, I feel like I gotta be careful here because once again with the other situation, I don't know which one of these would offend him more. <laughs> Surely the kids are wrong. Surely, could it be that I'm out of touch? No. Surely the, the mortals are wrong. You've committed atrocities, you need to own up to it. That seems more direct, accusatory. Whereas this one is like, you're not a monster. You're human and you made a mistake, but that also makes him like saying you're not a god, and that seems also like I, I don't know which one he would take worse. I'll just say you're human, you made a mistake. Yeah. <sighs> Damn it. I, I don't know, I'm just gonna do it. Wait. What? What do you say? Humans make mistakes, it's in our nature. You have spoken eloquently. Oh! And yet, oh, did it work? What you say is true. It follows that my wage was... So he's okay with being called a human. But that would mean Jupiter, Preservator's father, who knew more about you than anyone, proposed a wager I could never win. Why would he do that? Perhaps he made a mistake. Perhaps he wanted you to abandon the wager. He's going to be free from you. He felt threatened by you and didn't want a potential challenger at least him. Perhaps he left you behind because even your own kingdom. Oof, let's not say that. We'll just say he made a mistake to see- Oh gosh, it froze. Please, I'm- Okay. Just to see what he says. A mistake? But he is the best and greatest of us. Perhaps when you took on human form, you took on some human foibles as well. Uh, Ooh, we're getting to him! It is what I deserve. As difficult as this is to Dude, his admit, lips quivering. I have suspected as much for a long time now. And I cannot deny it any longer. I've been so fixated on taking my beloved to Elysium that every time one of you sinned, it wore away my hope of being with her again. 
In time, I began to despise your kind for making her believe that you could ever be better than you are. But my rage was not born of malice. Quite the opposite. Everything I have done, I did because I loved her. Who knew this empathy of yours, which you celebrate so much, could have such a dark underside? This has gone on too long. It is time for me to let go of this form, of her, of all of you. But know this, if I abandon the wager and leave for Elysium, neither she nor your kind may ever ascend. I guess that's just what's gotta happen. So it said more games should have conversational final bosses. I think that's the original Fallout. If you want more of that, I'm pretty sure there's like a there's a few technically conversational boss fights in there. But the final boss, yeah. Ad hominem on a god. Um, we just want to return to the world. Why can't we return? I'll just say we just want to return to the world. Hmm. Very well. I will have Charon make arrangements to ferry the others. But as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. That's fine, I just met these people, I'm okay with... <laughs> I mean, we don't even know who we are. Um... Once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this moment right, the time will never have taken place. And you will have created a paradox. What will become of you is difficult to predict, but that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural flow of time. Now, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Farewell. We were SpongeBob the entire time. That was the big <laughs> twist. Ah, spaceship. We're going backwards. Fallout 1 2 New Vegas, aka good video games. Hey, look who it is. Uh-uh. Isn't this after we already, we already fell through the trap door? But I do have the key to get out. Oh. Uh, hi there. Give me a bit of... Well, here I am. Oh, to that lady in the... I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. Fortunately for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius. Ooh! Inscribed an account into a tablet. Let's see what... Apparently, I guess Galerius made it out then. 20 something people trapped in here, and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Rule. They believed that if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold, like the thousand people who'd lived here before them. Then, one day, just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the shrine of Proserpina, an oracle appeared. And told him how to solve the ills of the city. Like Dude, that's us. Saving the life of a dying woman, foiling an assassination attempt, and so on. Meanwhile, the oracle walked up to the and so on. Of a mysterious god, this one right here, and demanded an honor. I actually wanted to hear everything just to get a recap. Opened up to him. Nobody knows what went on in there, but Galerius wrote the oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus, because the next thing he knew, the ground shook and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. Unfortunately, Galerius's account just sort of stops after that, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. What became of him and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? Yeah, these Romans are crazy. Actually, that was me. Uh, what? Oh, I see. For a moment there, I thought you were serious. Anyway, I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. Oh, you found it. All right, I see how it is. What if I just jumped off a cliff? Whee! I can't believe we got the good ending, guys. 
after all these years. I want to go back. That city was so cool. Let me back. here for a moment you go on I if there's anything around here you can find like a little secret whoa look at those trip wires in the water <laughs> well, I'm glad we we're able to get the game running at least a little bit no, like, considerably better, actually, I'd say, on my end. Hopefully on your guys' end. Uh, in time for the ending. You're back! But... you're alone. I found it. Oh, what a relief. Why don't you tell me what you... I discovered you're not who you said you were. I remember meeting you 2,000 years ago. Ooh, now she'll actually, she might recognize us. Let's see. Ah, I see. I thought you might. Well, now you know. Or is it just going to be the same as the other ending? Oh, well, we already you know can this. You just call me Charon, if you like. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me. We've learned for 5,000 years. Most people find comfort in familiarity. In what truth is that? that? You died yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just call my that hmm. most ask a wise decision. Let us have the coins Al and I had were the last in existence. It what does that mean for you? I there is nobody else to ferry here. Okay, we already asked all these questions, so... I see no point in keeping you here. Oh, look, but here it comes out. I have out. to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now. Al! It's so good to see you. You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again. Kind of lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an oracle who confronted a god and undid an ancient curse. Sounds like quite a story. And I look forward to hearing all about it. But... You two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I... ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. She just and had you, to use that are word. Are you ready to go home? No. We did it, we got the good ending. Oh, one year later? Okay, I didn't actually ex Whoa, I didn't expect there to be like an extra bit here. I'm, that's a nice surprise. Who's that? Are these statues, uh... Somewhere. Ancient Rome, Ancient Greece, Egypt. Is that Al? Wait a second, that hey, looks like Virgil. You made it. Wait, no. Great to see you again. That's all. After everything <laughs> it's Virgil, through, he's here, guys. You might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet. And I found something strange. Hmm, I wonder. Sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you. I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. Ooh. Oh. Ancient Roman statue of an unknown man in inscrutable pose. One hand seems to welcome the other worms. Oh, hello. It's there he is. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. You're finally here. Are they immortal? Hilarious, what are you doing here? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. 
Only, for some reason, she returned us to your world. Galerius in a freaking button-up anyway, shirt. We only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance at life. What are you doing uh, with yourself these days? Oh, I used Karen's gift to buy a farm in Umbria. Got a villa on it too, with enough room for Dooley, of course. It's hard work. Wow, I didn't I expect this. Every night. I'm finally my own man, and I... I wouldn't change it for the world. I know! You didn't have to wait until like she either. turned 36. But we're engaged and living together. We're planning to get married next spring. If you're gonna be around, we'd love to see you there. I love that cam in. Of course, there's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to thank you. So you better keep moving. We'll speak again soon, my friend. Oh, this is crazy. Equita. You're here. Very different You're outfit from her priestess. You. Garb. told me all about you. So you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. I'm just Sorry teasing. About that. Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this, I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. Galerius and I are engaged and expecting. We've just bought a lovely villa in the countryside with room for a large family. They adopted Dooley. Of course. It feels like the world has just opened up for us. There's so much to learn, and so many more possibilities for our children than we ever imagined. We're just so thankful for what you did for us. For all of us. Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She recovered nicely. In fact, she's here somewhere, if you'd like to ask her yourself. See you at the wedding, I hope. Dooley, now whatever you do, don't... Try to steal anything. Hello, I'm Dooley. I remember who you are, Dooley. Galerius said you're very nice and a big helper. Thank you for getting us out of the bad place. I didn't like it. And then Dooley was arrested for petty theft a day later. <laughs> I live at Galerius and Equitia's house. They look after me now and help me remember when I forget things, like brushing my teeth. Sorry you never found your treasure. Treasure? Oh, I forgot about that. I like my box now. Galerius got me a box that tells stories. Galerius got me an Xbox 360. I like playing Viva Pinata. <laughs> the bad place, like that one show. Oh, the good place. Bye bye. <laughs> it's got like one of those backpacks. Evening. Hey. Oh, he's a soldier. Hi there, I'm Horatius. I guess that fits. I understand we have you to thank for giving us a second chance at life. And reuniting Santilla with us as well. So, <laughs> thank you. Did you like that one? What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm living up north and studying in the military academy in Modena. I'm going to be an officer one day. The world's changed a lot. But some things stay the same. Would you believe we're still studying military tactics from my time? Alexander the Great, Caesar, Hannibal Barker. Still, I have to keep challenging myself to let go of old ways of thinking and embrace the new. As Seneca wrote, the ones who pioneered our paths aren't our masters, but our guides. Sorry, you never got to see your girl again. Ah, you remembered that. Thank you. I grieved for a time. But that's done. It Am I a big Viva Pinata fan? No, Those but I I imagined uh, Dooley would be. Remind them they are mortal. Remind yourself your precious one isn't one of your possessions. 
but something given for now, not forever. I just love Viva Pinata. All right. Thanks. Oh, I said coping by accident. Whatever happened to Domitius? He's not my. Oh, I see what you did there. Good I'm one. still getting used he to sarcasm. The most. He got himself disqualified. Oh my the God! UFC. The UFC. He started some kind of underground blood sport tournament, like we had in Rome. Supposed so to silly. To people's baser instincts. And they say he made some good coin, killing a bunch of men like that. But his luck finally ran out, and his life along with it. You know what they well, say. Well, <laughs> I guess not everyone adapted the, the best. You're not wrong. And you. Farewell. Wow, this is a really nice epilogue that we actually get to see. I really like when games do stuff like that. Like, we get to see where everyone ended up. We never really got to talk to Julia, right? Because she was the one who was poisoned. You're, you're the Oracle, oh, sorry, not right? Julia. Julia? Oh, of course. Sorry. And I never got a chance to thank you for telling Galerius how to save my life. And of course, getting me and all of us. I don't know if I've ever played Viva Pinata, actually. Maybe I should try it one of these days. What are you doing with yourself these days? Oh, I barely recognize myself. I'm living in a house share in London with my wonderful girlfriend. And I'm studying English at university. Eventually, hey, that's I want what to I'm travel doing. the world and write about it. Turns out, it's about 30 times bigger than the Roman Empire ever was. Did you know there are entire continents Rome never knew existed? And you can travel almost anywhere in an aircraft, which is rather like flying on a Pegasus, but much more comfortable. Oh, sorry, Maybe if you're not in the economy course, seats. I'm just so excited. There's so much to see and learn and write about. I have noticed people from your time have no idea how fortunate they are. I hope to change that. One day. You too! If you're ever in London, let me know. We can go to bars and drink wine and listen to the stories of the nine million people who live there. I hope so. Hello. You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. A very you. artsy shirt. Lucy is fine. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. If the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never leave us alone. Speaking of which, I wanted to say thank you in person. I'd say the gods smile on you, but I hear you drove the last of them <laughs> off. So... Can't believe we were able to convince Hades to do all this for us. I'm studying to get into medical school. As much as I resented the responsibility of keeping everyone in the city alive, when it ended, I realized I missed it. So I guess and she wasn't I even supposed to be the, the world, a medical doctor, from what I remember. At a time. You just kind of ended up in that role. You too. Don't be a. Hey. I take She's the rude the one, right? Thanks for coming. Good to see you again, rude lady. Actually, I changed my name to Cynthia. I didn't want to be associated with Sentius after what happened. I'm not okay, sure that's if you good. heard. Like how the name changes. Proserpina emerged from the Great Temple. She knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little sister locked up in the upper cistern all that time. Yeah. But he's been dealt with. He's... Uh, you know what? The important thing is, we'll never see him again. What are you doing with yourself? Anything I want. I'm a woman of means in a vast new world. I can go wherever and do whatever I please. Of course, I mostly just stay in my villa and have my servant Alexa summon things you for me. You have servant? Because it's just awful out there. Barbarians everywhere. How did she still end up rich in the modern time? What happened to Sentius? He's still there. All alone, the last golden wow. statue in the underworld, trapped in a metal shell, slowly losing his mind that until is... the end of time. Eternal torment, just what he deserves if you that ask is... me. 
Oh, Alexa as in the freaking, like, the Amazon app thing? Good. You too. See you around. Alright, who else do we got over here? Georgie? Greetings. You must be the legendary Oracle. It is a sincere privilege to finally make your acquaintance. I am Georgius. I am told we have you to thank for freeing us from hate. Yeah, you made it just in time, Ms. I am most grateful. Why is she dressed like a Flintstones character back there? We'll get to her after George. I am reacquainting myself with Greece. It has changed so much over the last 2,000 years, I barely recognize it. This is at once heartbreaking and thrilling. Perhaps one day, once I have seen all of this new Greece and sampled her delights, I will settle down in Sandorini in a villa overlooking the Azure Aegean Sea. I hope you wow. will join me there and regale me with the story of how you faced off against the fearsome god of the underworld and won. Well, you know how it is. You too, my friend. Hello, Wilma. You're the one we've been waiting for. I wanted to say thanks for sending Galerius to save my life. I don't know how you knew, but I would have been crushed by that shrine for sure. Yep, I've seen it happen to me too, actually. I'm just so happy to be here with you and everyone together again. Even if it's just for one more night. Well, it's not like I have to work with all the silver Karen gave me, so I just do what makes wow, me happy. Wow, like she really I hooked everyone that up. Means baking for my friends and looking at memes while binging TV oh my shows my God. yoga pants. Looking at memes. What a time to be alive. They can't say that. This is that's illegal. Thank you. I really am. You too. Oh, the philosopher! Look at him! Just like Pee Wee Herman. I take it you're the oracle everybody's talking about. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. We met before that, I wouldn't expect you to remember We it. have. I'm sorry, I don't remember. In any case, I'm Philip. His name was Philip the whole time? Wait, Philip? Philosopher? And now I'm in the 21st century. What a time to be alive. And it seems I have your catabasis to thank for it. I'm working as a consultant to the Faculty of Classics at Cambridge University, helping fill the odd gap I knew it. in the knowledge. Not that He's I need the money, but... I figured he'd be like a philosophy professor or something. Minds again. My sincere thanks once again. Lovely to meet you. I'm thankful that you're here. I was sure the person who drove off the last pagan god would have more important things to do than visit the likes of us. But thank you for coming and for saving our lives. What you did was extraordinary and I'll never forget it. I'm living in Rome again, in a charming little flat by the Tiber. You would go back to the office. Tiber after what happened oh, last time? I'm training to be a crisis counselor. After you sent Galerius to persuade Ulpius not to take his own life, I was inspired. I just want to spend That's the nice. rest of my life helping people, like you helped him. Thank you. That means a lot. And you. Oh, and I hope this isn't too forward, but some of us are going out for a drink after this, if you'd like to join us. Sure. Wonderful. I'll see you soon. The end is like a, a mini game where you're at the bar. Oh, what the? Some in it. Oh my gosh, this. Look, please keep off the furniture. You are so lucky you got out. Ah, oh, hello at last. You must be the oracle I've heard so much about. I'm Daisius. Sorry, Daisius, not Daisius. Listen. I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. 
If it wasn't for you, I'd never been able to sell all those useless old relics I accumulated. Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy man. Thank you. No need to thank me, it was entirely unintended. Such a serving wit. I love it. I took the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock market. That's where the real money is now. Of course you did. In fact, I was hoping to ask your advice. Well, I found this thing called Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin. Which stocks I should invest in next? I can't decide between fossil fuels, tobacco, gambling and arms. What would you recommend? Bitcoin. Oh, don't be like that. You can tell your old pal, Dave. DVD rentals? Broadcast television? Print media is going to make a huge comeback. Um, DVD rentals would be pretty bad. Oh, of course, yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. I'll go home and buy up as much stock as I can tonight. I'm going to make a bloody fortune. <laughs> oh, boy. Of course, don't let me keep you. Thanks again for the tips, my friend. I really wish they would have picked Bitcoin as one of the options. That would have been perfect. Good evening. Greetings. Wow. Thank you for your kind words and for liberating us all. In all the time, yeah, it is good I that we can do that. World, I never once imagined that I might end up in a place so much like Elysium. I guess to them it would seem like Elysium. I'm recovering. This was Octavia before the crypto was crash. Kind enough to let me stay with her for a while. At least until I'm well enough to be independent again. Our NFTs would have been uh, even better. Ah, you remember that. I'm a little tired of Ovid, but that's all right. I have 2,000 years worth of poetry to catch up on now. I recommend Shell Silverstein. I'm already up to the 19th century, and am quite enjoying the work of a fellow named Poe. I think I may have oh, found a kindred spirit. Men have called Hopefully me not too mad, kindred. But the question is not yet settled whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence. It'll make a comeback, you're telling me. And you. Farewell, friend. Alright, who else do we have here? Surprised they had us do uh Galerius first. It is an honor Whoa, look at his jacket. You, it's crazy. It's like all these different leathers stitched together. You know my name. Of course oh, I am. I'm an oracle. You are an oracle. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your role in bringing us here. This world is truly wondrous. For a time, I returned to Alexandria, but they have no need of another fisherman. And I came to see you. There is nothing for me there. Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack the world. It is a great adventure, and I have met many people from many cultures. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 42 sins that would deny me access to the afterlife. Now, you're I only 25. You I look like fun. you're a little older than that. Indeed. Thank you, Oracle. All right. Uh, da, da, da. Nice to meet you. I'm Rufus. I go by Rufus now. Ah, of course you do. Your name. Rufus. Well, and, uh, thanks, by the way, for what you did. Sorry, I'm no good with the mushy stuff. You're doing it yourself these days. You were right, the statues really were watching us. Let's do this first one first. I live with Virgil in Rotterdam. I knew it. Not far from where he grew up. It's very modern. Destroyed in the war, and it rebuilt itself. Good place for a fresh start. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my life yet. Hmm. 
One adjustment at a time. Huh. Good to know. Anyway, it was good practice for the new world. Oh no. Security cameras. He's one of them paranoids. Got to stay vigilant. I have a theory that the world is flat. Look at you, Stuart. You too. Look us up next time you're in the Netherlands. I'm. We're grateful. Hello that was there. automatic. Oh, look who it is. Oh, I go by Gabriella now. That's I didn't want to be reminded probably of that for the monster best. every time I heard my own name. After you drove Pluto off, Proserpina came and released me. And that monster got what was coming to him. Sounds like he got what he deserved. Mm -hmm. I'm living with Ulpius on a little vineyard in Umbria. It's even more wonderful than I dreamed it would be. I'm so grateful to you for making sure he's still with us. If you're ever passing through the region, I hope you'll come and visit us. You can try some of our very own wine. Thanks. You too. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. I'm Opius. I understand I have you to thank for sending Galerius to save my life. Yep. The way you just showed up out of the blue and stopped me from making a terrible mistake. I'll be forever in your debt. I'm living with Gabriella in Umbria. We finally Oh yeah, she told me already. Every day I look at her and this extraordinary new world with all its beauty and I think what if I'd given up hope? Missed out on all of this. Yeah. So we're living each day sucked. to the fullest. And we end them all the same way. Netflix together on and our chill. With a glass of our wine, which the locals say is almost drinkable now. And watching the sunset over the rolling hillside. And I couldn't be happier. Thank you. You too. Yeah, it's cheesy, but I do actually appreciate that there's so much, like, epilogue. It's so he nice does look... Meet you. Virgil and Al I do look very so similar. Might be the you. hair. I wanted to thank you personally for getting us out of there. And for helping Rufus come to terms with himself. He may come off a little gruff, but once you get past that, he's a lovely fellow. I'm studying to be an architect again, and living with Rufus in our beautiful flat in Rotterdam, just down the river from Nijmegen, where I grew up. Of course, it's improved immensely since I was there last. Gleaming futuristic buildings and clean streets, full of educated, accepting people. You natives of the 21st century have no idea how fortunate you are. That's you good. do. As Rufus said in his own laconic way, if you're ever in the Netherlands, we'd love to show you around. It's the least we could do. Alright, is that everyone? Could we be forgetting? Well, there's Al at the end of the hallway, like he said he'd be waiting. Oh, it's the Greek plaque! Ooh. Unga. Latin plaque. All must walk this path to where the laws of day help the virtuous to paradise in the city beneath the earth. The ravenous hunger of the avarice, avaricious is sated at the banks of the stream, but in vain, for none from here may return. Oh, look, it's the dice tower. Gosh, this game's so lazy, reusing assets. I'm just kidding. Oh, the fish was the secret symbol of their faith. That's what the fish what I forgot what the fish symbolized exactly. I just knew it was something to do with Christian. There you are. I hope you enjoyed that. 
Now there's one more person. No, I, I was joking about the assets being reused. I, I was just being are. silly. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry if I frightened you. Look who it is. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, long Jeez. time. Jeez. Yeah. I recognize that voice anywhere. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Persephone, former goddess of the Cyclops. Right, because she gave up her godhood. Now, a regular mortal. I wanted to meet you in person, and thank you for freeing all these people and me. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. Indeed. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control the tongues. their tongues and whisper to you when he was distracted. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. After witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over thousands of years, I knew this generation the final wave would not survive. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him. And I rather hope it stays that way. He's gonna send you a drunk message on Facebook one night. Or a drunk text message or something. Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. The last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. She how do, how do people end up there? But I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. I imagine we all will. One day. It's a little ominous. And you. Although it feels like I've known you forever. Oh, and one last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues scattered throughout the city? No, I don't remember that actually reminded me. Because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Oh! Of all the heroes who ever turned to the underworld. All the statues? Time, Holy the crap. Who's to achieve what you did? Hercules, Orpheus, Theseus, and Aeneas. I'd be proud. Look at those beards on some of them. The cannon ending. Wow. That seems a little crazy. We. we all those golden statues. So there's just like a thousand people from like ancient Greek times running around, running rampant on our modern world. I can't believe this. What have we done? We've created chaos. Wait, what happened to Mal Malios Maliolis? We didn't we didn't get to see Maliolis. Someone ironic and scary to have a statue made of you after all you've been through. Wait, we had a statue made of us? I didn't see that. I, I just saw a bunch of people down there. Did someone make a stat if if that was a statue of us, I did not see it. I just saw all those people. It's just the people who are still alive, so 23. Eliolis and Claudia kind of vanished. I completely missed the statue. I thought she was just showing us all the people standing there. Because that was more than 23 people. That was like... That was... As she said, the golden statues didn't forget you. And then those were all the golden statued people, weren't they? There weren't people with long beards in the town. I'll, I'll have to rewatch the uh, video. Wait, there was a Karen? Oh, Karen. Which one was Karen again? That's actually really cool that it shows the pictures of all the people. You you almost never see pictures of people in credits. You always just see their names. Uh. 
I mean, I guess that's good because the gold statue people were still alive. As they said, they just had their eye their eyes and ears were still working. They were alive. They were just goldified. So I guess it is good that they were prop, you know, out of that situation. It's just kind of crazy to think that there's all these ancient people running around now. At least one of them's gonna end up in the loony bin, like... I'm telling you, I'm from the past! Hades did this to me. What would I rate this game on a scale of 47 to 362? Um... This was a... I actually liked this game, like, a good deal, even though, like, I had trouble with the, uh performance issues was happening but um like it gave me so, like such such a vibe of like an old like a pc game you, from the early 2000s that you would find in like a bargain bin at, at a store randomly and then you take it home and it like barely runs on your computer um i'll give it Three gold statues and a soap, a, a, a sponge, a bath sponge on a stick. That's uh, that's what I'll get it. But yeah, that was uh, that was the Forgotten City. I'm glad we were able to get all the endings because I honestly didn't think we were going to. I wasn't sure how involved that was going to be. Um. Is it worth checking out the original Skyrim mod, or is this kind of just the... This is the main experience and you don't really need to, like, worry about that. See, it might be something like, um, this, uh, Stanley Parable, where it was originally, like, a Half-Life mod. Oh, like, special thank to Epic Games. It's almost like... They do good stuff. Special thanks to Tom Holland. What did Tom Holland do? Acknowledgements. Because they use the Unreal Engine, that's why. From Martha Pierce, whose steadfast love and support made this game possible. Well, that was a fun game. And now we have four people watching as I just ended it. We hope you enjoyed The Forgotten City. We'd love to make even better games in the future. You can help by recommending The Forgotten City to a friend or writing a review. The more people play our games, the more we can level up. That's a little cheesy, but okay. And if you'd like to be the first to know when we announce our next project, connect to this here. Gotcha. The reason there's the white hallway spoiler thing is because that's all completely 100% new and wasn't in the mod at all. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Tom Holland's just easy to thank. <laughs> well, that was a fun game. I mean, if your computer can run it or you get it on console, I would say it's definitely worth checking out. Um, yeah, I'm glad we were able to, to finish that today. So... Yeah, it was good stuff. I like stuff like this. Like, I've complete, I had no idea that this game was even a thing. So, like, it really surprised me when this won the poll in the Discord. But I'm glad it did. It was fun. Um, yeah, all right. That's that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you, everyone, for joining. I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. I might stream something tomorrow. Or I might not. It depends. Um, but until then. I'll catch you guys next time. You have a good night.